Morning. Morning. It's just something you can re rely on, do you know what I mean? This stream. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? It's just something you can rely on. Do you know what I mean? Eh, uh, Rai. Rai Mc3003, I've removed you as a mod on my Discord because you, you never say anything in it. And I couldn't remember if you were a, a mod in here. So if you go into Discord and you're like, what the fuck has happened? Um, I was just tidying up loose ends today. I just like to tidy things up. And I just went like that, right, who... Who hasn't posted? I can't remember who is an active mod on Discord. I just like to tie up. I just like to tidy the place up. I just like that. Check that. Oh, they they posted yesterday. Check that. Oh, they posted. They check that. They posted last week. That's what, you nothing. Your name. Your name doesn't even fucking come up. Right. Your name doesn't even come up. Like, like you don't exist. So. I just thought right. Move. You're not removed as a mod here. I just, I just like to tidy up. I don't like names sitting about. And I, I've been away for a few months, but sleep, right. Don't like names sitting about, and I'm like, who, what are they? I just, it's like leaks. It's like we leaks and. Do you know what I mean? If you're a mob boss, you would have shot him. I just to sort of tie up, tie up the loose ends. Nothing personal, Rai. In fact, it's the opposite. It's because I, there is nothing actually personal from you in Discord, if you know what I mean. You've not said anything in order for me to be pissed off, if you, if you know what I mean. Which is fine, by the way. Go, thanks for sub. Any chance of consoling someone who lost a loved one at a funeral blam? I was asked to text the sub. The blam has just been fucking to a pleasure and a privilege. Blam would have been amazing. Thank you very fucking much. Silent but Dudley. Smoky Bacon thinks the subs and bits. The blam's been taken. I'm so sorry. You're welcome. It's a me marriage. Or Morning, Lemmy. I didn't this is awkward. I didn't prepare anything. It's fine. I don't worry about it. King thinks the sub. But the bits. Came first in a regional pissing contest recently. I'm a professional streamer. <laughs> Good stuff. That was 200 bits on that. 200 bits on that. Within the first minute of the stream, you chucked 200 bits on high limit. Came first in a regional pissing contest recently. I'm a professional streamer. Have you been up all night? Have you been up all night waiting to fucking, waiting for the stream to start, to post that? Did you wake up at three in the morning and have that in your head? Cheryl and Kubo, thanks to subs. Hello, Berlin. Cameron, thanks to bits. Can you get me in touch with Warwick Davis? I need a word. I don't know any cunt, sorry. Dave, thanks to sub. Uh... I went to a new zoo yesterday. We'll walk all around the cages were empty until the last enclosure I had a wee dug in it. It was a shit zoo. Shit zoo. Danny Boy and Andrew, Schlammy thanks for subs. Sorry, I've not got a shite joke. Thank you very much. Morning, everybody. It's just it's just good to have somewhere you can rely on, do you know what I mean? Um, this stream, do you know what I mean? You come on half nine, you know it's going to be here. Unless something has went really, really bad. Half nine, you know it's going to be here and everybody else is going to be here. It's just something you can rely on in this. Turbulent, turbulent. Turbulent times. Just something you can rely on. Just something you can rely on. Just a presence, that's all. Doesn't necessarily mean it's good. 
just a presence. That's a fucking three there. Do you think the next card is going to be higher or lower than a three? The only card lower than this is a two because in this game, twos are lowest and aces highest. Gamble your channel points right now. You've got one minute. You've got one minute. Are you playing a whimsical game today? I've got a new game for you that's... No. I'm going to say whimsical. No, I don't think it's whimsical. It's, I don't think it's heavy. But I don't think it's whimsical. One is a hand-painted... Game. Beautiful art. A point and click thing. There's like a, a garden and a, like somebody's house or something. Uh, another one is a kind of Firewatch light. Slippy thinks this up. You're looking shite, by the way. And you, Slippy. Why don't you slip and fucking... I can't say because of TOS. Peter thinks this up. Joe Alexander thinks this up some bits. Can you... And Bobby, please wish my amazing husband, Tambo, an amazing 33rd birthday. I lose him to you for at least four hours a day, but I will love it because he makes a banging cup of tea. This is a big shout out and a big happy birthday to Tambo. Tambo, you've been played for an absolute fucking mug. No pun intended. The biggest, the, the fucking easiest, first, biggest, and biggest and first trick in the book is to tell somebody they make an amazing cup of tea. That's how you get them to make you tea forever. Oldest trick in the book. You make a really good cup of tea, by the way. The fuck did I make a good cup of fucking tea? Put the tea bag in, you put the fucking water in, squeeze the tea bag about a bit with a teaspoon, put the milk in and if there's sugar, that's it. You make a really good cu cup of coffee with a teaspoon of instant coffee in. Oh no, squeeze. Do not squeeze the bag. Wrong, wrong. Do not squeeze it. Why? 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 Uh, never squeeze. There you go. See, nobody knows. It makes it bitter. Says who? Says who? It makes it bitter. I have been drinking tea... My whole life. I have drank tea in other people's places. I have drank tea in restaurants. And tea is tea. You got the tea leaves in the bag. You put it in the hot water. Let's not turn this into some weed fucking, oh, how do you do it? Oh, do you like pineapple and pizza? Oh, how can you like that? Pineapple's got no place in a pizza. Let's not turn this into a thing. You put hot water in uh, the tea bag and then the tea leaves um, need to, you know, get like wet and release the things into the water. The way that brew. And you can just have the tea bag sitting in there, but if you apply motion, then it sort of, Jiggles at a boot and gets it happening. The same way that maybe a, a washing machine I, I agitates it. Squeezing it is also a part of that. Just sort of pushing it a boot, sort of squeezing it here. But don't squeeze it. Why not squeeze it? When you squeeze it, you actually see merit come out. This stuff about making it bitter, your problem. The bag might split, right? That's my problem. 
In case it bursts or leaks, that's my problem. Because it makes it bitter. Do you mean mer tea comes out? I think that's what you mean. You get more tea, it makes the tea stronger. I think that's what you mean. I think that's really all you mean when you say bitter. Do you really think if you squeeze a tea bag? You see, when you squeeze it, you're actually crushing the tea leaves and that's no how the, that that's no what's meant to happen. The hot water is meant to just gently, just by motion, or by just gen, gentle bubbling, you know, brewing or something like that, is meant to just take away the top layer of the leaves and it goes into the rest of the water. If you squeeze it though, it actually breaks right into the, the middle of the, the, the leaf and it's bitter inside and that's no meant to be released. Is that right, aye? Is that right, everybody? Right, so these tea leaves that are all cut up in a million pieces, these tea leaves that are cut up into a million fucking pieces, you think they're all kind of like sealed? Each tiny wee fucking piece is like sealed. It doesn't make any sense. Anyway, it's a fucking two. Oh, no, it's the highest. It's the highest it can get. Everybody see the stuff about no squeezing the tea bag? It's pish par. It's pish. You do what you want with a fucking tea bag. As a leveller sang, there's only one way of life and that's your own. Am I right? I remember saying that, saying that in the... Uh, Twitter levelers look kind of like um, what? How would you describe them? Crusties. I remember saying that on Twitter once, or a blog that I used to have. I said, uh, I said that, and somebody said, "Aye, I've seen, saw them at, on, on telling fucking Glastonbury. A million crusties looking the exact fucking same, singing. There's only one way of life, and that's your own." I thought you're fucking right. You're right. Crusties. Uh, a crusty, I think it's like um sort of canvasy sort of gear and um um kinda modern sort of hippie, some of them kinda like um a lot of them white but with sort of dreadlock sort of stuff and you know, kind of a bit beardy and, um, you know, like kind of canvassy sort of cap and, you know, like, like they look like they live in Glastonbury. An old guy term. New Age Traveller. Oh, remember that? Now, that's an old term, that. That's, I remember that in the 90s. These New Age Travellers. New Age Travellers. What did it even fucking mean? What was that? Eco Warrior. New Age Travellers was about the same time, felt about the same time news-wise as... Um, um, warehouse parties and ram raids. Who remembers ram raids? Who remembers ram raids? They probably still happen. Probably still happen. Uh, let's see. 
Keeps me moment. It was, it was in the, there was something in the news or something kind of recently, a motor was knocked for a ram raid. You steal a motor and then you use it to ram it into the, the front of a shop window, like a jeweler's or just some other like, electronic shop or something like that. And then with the window all fucking smashed in and everything, you then run in, grab everything, shove it in the motor and drive away. Ram raiding, or to pull out a cash machine. That was no. No, these days it's all cyber, pff, cyber this, and pff, I kind of keep up this. Oh, just kind of keep up. I saw metaverse stuff. I'd done. That metaverse stuff is going to be a fucking flop, by the way. An utter flop, and I can't fucking wait. Bocklin, thanks for 300 bits. Give us your file naming convention. Tell me you're not one of these people naming files in you. Final edit. Uh, numbers, really. That's what I normally do. Edit 1, edit 2, edit 3, edit 4, edit 5, edit 6, edit 7. Um, I don't do any version management stuff where you've got this one file and you, you've got to have this other fucking app or program that actually has got digital, like, fucking, um, like, binary fucking versions of the the backups, if you know what I mean. When I say binary, it's all binary, obviously, but I mean, you don't just see there's your fucking files. I know a version, SVM, uh, version man software version management. Tried that once where I worked about 20 fucking years ago and I was like, I don't know, what to, I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't, I just want to grab a fucking file and go. I would do stuff like, let's say it was Ed, um, let me so made you or something. In fact, I can tell you right now. I can tell you right now. Uh, storage what? Telly, Lemmy's Homemade Show, Pilot and Series, we're going to Series, uh, Edit, alright, oh, I must have got, I must have got rid of the, the, the ancient ones, right, I must have got rid of some ancient ones, I've got LHS Series, 22 new sketches, 23 new music, 24 final 25 final for serious, serious facilities. 26 changes for serious. So I'd just go through numbers and if something, if I felt there was a, a reason to, um, to kind of uh, make, a, like a, make a note of what is this, what is this, what is like file 18, what actually is this, what's different? This is the one that I've added the music now. Oh, right, that's the one I've added the music, that's right. Like that. But I don't just have final, 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 and I mean it this time, final. Um, pilot. LHS, episode one, 29, fine cut, 30, fine cut, 31, fine cut, final. 32, fine cut, final, flattened. I've got another 32, which is 32, to collect. So it's not 32, but it's all kind of collected, as in it's got all the files for different bits and put it on the one bit so I can stick it on a flash drive and take it to a place. How many cuts do you need? Just as many as it fucking takes. Just back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. You kind of go wrong. Uh, tired Dad Gaming, Gus, and Jazz, Jazz, Jazz thinks the subs and bits. Maisie has hit the four month sleep regression. I probably had three hours sleep last night, and I hate to admit it, but you were right. What is sleep? Any tips? Oh, um, there was a, there was a wee tip. I wouldn't recommend it. I, did, I said that in my book, but um, there's a. I, I don't know if you've got any trouble getting out of sleep. But I came up with a fantastic, fantastic technique. 
working out um, that are um, that's that's basically saved uh, Lynn's sanity. I was just I, I I wouldn't even describe it because I think it's safe. I think it's all right, but just in case it fucking isn't. It? I could just say it I've not really told many people about it. I want to put some autobiography for everybody to read. But it got Daniel to sleep quick as fuck. Camera. Thanks for the bits. What were your favourite games as a wee boy? Would you ever play any retro games? I kind of play in the retro games in, or, here because I would need a, an emulator. Because I'm not going to, I'm not going to be fucking loading Spectrum stuff. Uh, favorite games, We Boy, arcade games, or the ones that are about then. Don't really have. Don't really have. Um, don't really. What are these deleted ones? Chat's at it. How are the how is the chat at it? What's going on? Shut up about again, babies, alcohol, drugs. Don't say things like that, please. I can understand having an edgy sense of humour, but see once you actually have a win, all that goes out the window. See, for me personally, I'm one of these uh, selfish people who it's only when, it's only really when I meet somebody or I'm personally affected that I start to understand something. I can, I can kind of imagine, I can kind of imagine, but it's only actually when I meet people and come across people and uh, or experience something for myself that I, that I start to fucking get it. Maybe that's maybe a lot of people, probably a lot of people like that. So I, I'd probably be cracking all sorts of wee jokes like that in the old days. But um once you become closer to the, the matter then uh, basically you, you grow a fucking conscience. Selective empathy. I think it's the same a lot of things. It's it, it, like, if you live in some sort of bubble, in some sort of wee fucking, uh, wee private fucking universe in some shady wee corner of the internet, then you you don't become exposed to other people and all the rest of it. It's once you um, uh, mix with other people, you start to go, oh, wait a minute. It's kind of one of the reasons why... Um, I date a lot of unbanning. I would rather, I would rather have uh, assholes here than somewhere else, so that they get um, uh, corrupted by our influence. In the same way that I got corrupted by the influence of all you good people. That's not to say that I'm going to permit them to be assholes here. You know what I mean? Beneath the headphone says, what's your take on Facebook? That's a really interesting question. We'll talk about that a wee bit later, right? Let's get on, let's go on to the, uh, on to marbles then. Family Barbecue, Romeo McFlurry, Annie Callian. I hope I said your name right. Thank you very much for the subs. Doggy and AGWR, thanks for the subs. Upcoming holiday in the Orient Express. That'll be a fucking laugh, that won't it? Mindless Blocky, thanks for the bits. Did you hear about the Egyptian mummy, mummy that went to stay at the hotel? He asked for a tomb with a view. Now it rhymes, rhymes with uh, room. Lyricists. Lyricists. 
to songs. Stop trying to make the word again rhyme with other words that end with A-I-N. Again does not rhyme with pain. Again is pronounced ending with a kind of G-E-N sound, not a G-A-I-N. I don't think anybody says again. Again. I've seen it in plenty of songs. I've not seen it. Again. Do it again. Again, do it again. Again, do it again. I, I would say it again in a kind of, I think it's more like an accent and dialect thing. But I mean, if you're, I mean, when you hear them sing the song, it doesn't even rhyme. I'll find a song, I'll find a song. I've heard, I've heard songs that go like, na, 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 again, na, 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 pain. Do you know what I mean? If you notice, you notice. If you care, you care. If you don't, you don't. If you, if you don't, you don't. Navery and McLean, thanks for the subs. New badge day, thanks for being the soundest cut on Twitch. You're welcome. Eki Gibbon, thanks for turning 45 bits. Yeah, Dub, thanks for turning bits there. Hello from Sydney, you absolute. You're welcome. Hello, Sydney. Let's go on with the fucking game. I'll catch up with the thank yous, by the way. Officer Sternsey, thanks for the sub. You're very fucking wel welcome, officer. Right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Marble's time. Do you have not been out on the fucking bike for ages? Like an actual cycle consistently day after day. I really should, but I can't I cannot be fucked. Right, here we go. It's just shite, it's dark, so miserable. Can't be fucked, but I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. So the, the, the song takes a wee bit of time to fade in. Mr. Monk and T scientists sing themselves in three quid. Ignore them all, you squeeze away. They know nothing, your house should lose. And there's nothing up there. Oh well, look, it's already dying. See? Oh look, look. Wondrous and joyful. And I will be playing a wondrous and joyful game today. Three blams coming up. So off to the sinks and sub. 19 months to be honest, I didn't think you'd last this long than I subbed. I'll be lasting longer than you. I don't drink, I don't smoke, and I regularly exercise. John T. Thanks for the, the tier two, 60 month three, so thank you very fucking much. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Celery man, thanks for the sub. Oh, you're going to make a, a loaf of bread? Big shout out to your campaign manager, Banco's Toast. Cerulis and Slink Bubble Freeman. Lucius. I'm I am I out of touch with the subs? I'm reading all these sub messages by the way. Make small things to the sub. Somebody said the blam stocks are tanking. No, 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 no. There's still value in seeing the blam happen. It's not just the sound. Hey, look. Somebody might make a jump. Get ready, somebody make, make a big lucky jump.
Oh. Let's hear it again. The Dops man. Thanks for sub. I went with a view. Nice one. Oh. Zelly Zalo, thanks for the sub. I said Zelly Zalo, thanks for the Zelly Zalo won. I might use the same fucking thanks for the sub. <laughs> I just saw the name at the fucking top. Because I'm looking at the names up the top of the screen in the, in the activity feed. Oh, <laughs> you better not clip that. Nine. Nine subs. Is that over six? I think it is. That's a yes. Well, Wolfie and Elmer. Kaj. Bruni. Thanks for subs. Mick Small. Thanks for subs. Great. Uh, what do you call a Glaswegian superhero? Quality, man. That's right, because we all say quality, didn't we? Ho, 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 ho. That's quality, man. Ho, 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 ho. Good luck with your new sitcom in BBC Scotland. Painted plastic board game and things for the sub. <laughs> Just joking. Just a wee joke. <laughs> oh, that made me laugh. That made me laugh. Ho 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 ho, by the way, quality man. So when you played quality man, the character quality man, how, how did you come up with that? Oh, but it's not spent, um, I spent about two or three months uh, in the Trongate uh, Gallagate area of Glasgow. really soaking up getting to know these people just getting to know these people you can't hear me no you can't hear me no well done man additions to be new James Bond Gun. Philip Cummings and Hooper the Tuber, thanks for the, the subs and bits. You're welcome. Fossey, thanks for turning bits. Nice one, Fossey. I have many jokes about unemployed people. Sadly, none of them work. And Teggy, thanks for the sub. In the 19th century, a tall forehead was seen as an indication of high intelligence. Yes! Painted plastic ward gaming. Uh, Minch Potato and Collective Unit thinks of the subs. I remember... Um, I was thinking the other day about when I was uh, 27, just fucking sitting in Mars for a whole year. No job, no intention of getting a job. And my flatmate, just us fucking... St day in, day out. Day in fuck all, man. But in a way, it's kind of like what I do now. The Jersey Islander, thanks for the sub. Thank you very much. Man, this improv story is based on the idea. Man, additions to be uh, the new James Bond. Let the story commence. Craig was a struggling actor. And then he got a phone call for his agent. <laughs> agent. Got an agent, they never got them in. Then phone call, uh, phone call came in. Agent said, I've got something for you. Craig. You know how your name's Craig? Yep. And you know how there's Daniel Craig, James Bond? Yep. And you're not Daniel Craig. 
And this is not about how you're like da actually Daniel Craig and your name's actually Craig Daniels or something like that. Yeah. Anyway. Speaking of Daniel Craig. Would you like to audition for James Bond? And Craig went, what? What? The James Bond. And Adrian went, the James Bond. And Craig went, how? How, 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 how do I do that? You just send him a video. I'm sending you through a, a, a wee bit of the script. You act that out in front of the camera, in front of your phone, and um, and you send it in. They're looking for somebody. Um, they they want to get somebody Scottish again. We're going back to white days Scottish again. Oh, right, right. All right. Is this a wind-up? The agent went, this is real. I'll send it through, you'll see. Sent an email, forwarded an email through. Hi, we are, whoever the fuck it is, MGM or fucking, I don't know who, who, who makes it. Um, Here we are at Pinewood or fucking, I don't know. Top secret, non-disclosure agreement, click this fucking Adobe thing, you've got to click and it, sign this form, or did you say, fucking hell, this is a real deal, man. Send this, we're looking for this, you have a, a, being identified as, um, but we loved your play. Like he did a play, he wrote and did his own play, and, and it was online, he filmed it and stuck it online, and they saw it. So it wasn't just like, ah, oh, fuck it, there's like a thousand, just chuck out to any country that's fucking Scottish. They actually like wrote, like, like he actually, they actually saw his thing that he that he wrote he was in at the, the at Edinburgh Fringe. No comedy thing, it's play. Somebody saw it. He's like, right, fuck. Right, so he's like, right, so he, wrote, he looked at the script, he's like, here we go, here we go. And it was like, Oh, come now. Who's the who's the who's the boss? Sort of is it Q? Was it M? Oh, M. M's the top one. But like M. M. You've got to give me another twenty-four hours, boss. James Bond stuff. Give me another 24 hours, boss. I know I can crack the case. you got to give me more time. And then M said, I want your gun and your badge. You're off the case. And then he says, 24 hours, boss. I'm so... I'm that close to getting getting the, the getting the guy. I'm that close, boss. I know I'm a maverick. I'm that close, boss. Please, twenty four hours. They got kids selling this stuff in street corners, man. I'm that close. You've got 24 hours bond, then you're out. FBI's taking over. you got 24 hours, and that's it. Got the goddamn FBI up my ass. So, he sent in his edition video, and he came back to him, and he said, um, Yes. And he got in touch with his agent. He went, they've replied to me saying 
Yes. All right. An agent went. I just, I just saw that. Um, you've got, you've got it. And Craig went. I've, no, I've no, I've no. There'll, there'll, be, there'll be another. I take it there's like screen tests or something. There's that. Like, not, no. They've said you've got it. They said we want to offer him the part. They sent it through. They want to offer you the part. But when they offer you the part, what does that mean? Agent Melika, what do you mean? What does it mean? They've offered you the fucking part. I know, but you know how to be offered a part? I, I, I could go, oh, good, I've got the part. And what it could mean, no, 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 we offer 10 people the part. Then the agent Melika, what are you talking about? Just let me finish. They could offer 10 people the part. The agent said, why would they do that? Fucking hell, let me finish. Maybe the process is they offer the part to, you know, once uh, to like 10 actors. And then they wait to see who gets back to them because only maybe half of them might get back and say, I, I want this. Or they might go, actually, something's came up. And then they whittle it down even further. Agent well, guy, they wouldn't eat. They, they wouldn't they offer the part and then say, oh, right, you're not getting it. And Craig went, but you know how people do things like that? I don't know how it works. You know how things like that happen? The agent went, you've got it. I, have, you, have you seen the new email? And Craig went, uh, what, what, Ch check. And it said, come in for a screen test. Tomorrow. Oh my god. And it's in London. Um he's in Glasgow. He's like, fuck. My God. So what is a screen test agent? But just go, they'll tell you what you did. They're just gonna film you just to see how you look on camera. And and Craig was like, I, I, I. so this is where this is where I don't get it then. This is where I don't get it then. This is where I don't get it. They're going to film me and then they're going to go, ah, uh, uh, um, that's great. Great. We'll, we'll, be, we'll be in touch. And then they'll get in touch to say, I'm afraid somebody else is, you know, just in terms of the screen, they've just come across. In person, you're absolutely great. We think you're a great stage actor. Fantastic. Just on screen, just, I don't quite, maybe it's just the lighting, just not quite sure. But thing thingy just got the wee bit, the edge just... The agent went, I'm going to stop this and just go, Craig, you've got it. And Craig went, I fucking have, haven't I? I have. And the agent went, like, yes. This is your chance to shine. So Craig went down to London. Went down. Um, hard as fuck to get to this place. I said, we'll, go, we'll pick you up. Picked up for the airport, driven um, right in the middle of neighbours, like countryside. And he's seen it before, he's seen it like, he saw a video about like Pine, is it Pinewood Studios or um, kind of James Bond ones or, you know, like they don't have a studio right in the middle of London. It's like out a bit, it's out quite a bit. Right out quite a bit. Big fucking big warehouses and stuff like that, right? Um, plus, it's by being in the middle of nowhere, it doesn't get. Um, it's no like it's no next to like say a fucking airport, but they've got to go like cut. Wait for the fucking plane to go. Okay, ready again. Miles away. Pinewood. I used to take down sets down there. Says Henry. There you go. So. He got driven in the middle of nowhere and it's big big warehouse. Quite a rusty looking place. So he got taken in. Uh just in just in here. In here. In here. And he got taken into this sort of dark warehouse. And he's like, it's quite dark, isn't it? And the guy went, I just say just just saving electricity. Environment and all that, yeah? Saving electricity, ha ha ha. Environment and all that, yeah. All right. And 
then the guy just stopped walking and he turned around and, and Craig stopped as well and went, what is it? Just wait a minute. Yeah. Right. But then the guy didn't say it. He was just still kind of looking at Craig. But then he looked at Craig's shoulder, like behind Craig. And Craig went like that. And then when he turned back, um, the guy grabbed him and did something with his face and then Craig blacked out. And when he woke up, he was uh, all tied up. They, do- they tied him up. And had all these fucking cameras and all that. And uh, there was some cunt with a fucking, um, some cunt with a hedge trimmer. And Craig looked, Craig was like, why am I fucking cold? He looked dirty, he had no clothes on. And there was like about three, four guys standing about. And he was like, no, no, what was this? And they went like, you really fucking think that you were going to be in a fucking film, you fucking jock? And Craig went, what, what's going on? Let, let, me, let me out of this. We're going to fucking cut it all off. All of that and all of that in your face. We're going to cut everything off. Go cut your fucking fingers off and your fucking toes off and then your feet and your fucking arms and your fucking nose and your fucking ears. And you're going to take your fucking eyes out. Your teeth. Your fucking hair. You're going to get fucking scalped, you fucking yuck. And Craig went like, but why? Because, because you've got that fucking Scot- Scotch Parliament and your fucking rev- referendum and you fucking want to leave, you left you left the fucking UK, didn't you? Craig went, no, no, we, no, we didn't. No, we didn't. Yeah, you fucking did. And Craig went, what, what, what? No, we didn't. Yeah, well, what's all that Scotch Parliament about then? That's no no independent. We voted no. Hold on. It's right. He's fucking lying, isn't he? He's fucking lying, isn't he? Well, check it out on your phone. Could you, I can't get a connection either. Could you? What does it say? Can you stop doing that to my fucking neck? Right. It says I voted fucking no. Well, what's the fucking Scottish Parliament about then? Right. That's about 20 fucking years ago. Well, what are we going to do with them then? You fucking numpty. Right, just to let you know, there's been a mix-up. We are going to kill you, though. But we're sorry. We thought we'd just get a, sco- a scotch down here and fucking do them in. We're, in- we're English nationalists, you see. Not the brightest. <laughs> um, but we are going to do you in, but we are sorry... But it's just because you saw a face. And Craig went like that. Do you know, is this going to get filmed then? What's that? 
Is this going to get filmed? Yes, go on, eh? Is it So this is getting filmed then? A den? No, this is not a den. This is a warehouse. It's not really a den. No, this is going to get filmed then. Then. Is this going to get filmed then? Filmed then. No film then. Filmed them in the den? And Craig broke free and he grabbed the, the hedge trimmer and he fucking done him selling. Just rammed it right down his throat like a fucking, you know, suck guy at a circus. Hedge trimmer right down the throat like that, like, like, like a sword swallower. And he thought to himself, well, at least I'll be getting watched somewhere because he always wanted to make it big and film and all that. But he noticed that they hadn't actually switched the cameras on yet. So it's all for nothing. And as he lay there dying, um, he heard one going like that. Are you sure about this Scottish Parliament thing? What's that all about then? But you was the one you're supposed to check. Why'd you pick him anyway? He's just fading away like that. But how come they got a Scottish Parliament if they're in, in, independent? It don't make sense. It's like fucking... Like fucking Manchester fucking, par fa fucking Parliament. There was a Manchester guy there. It's like fucking Manchester fucking Parliament. Manchester. That was the last thing he heard. That was the last thing he heard. Manchester. The end. And this goes out to Manchester. And that's a true story. How do I know? I was an undercover policeman. You see the guy, he was like, there, well, well, why'd you fucking do that? But It's been a fucking mix-up. That was me. I was having to go along with it all. I ended up worse than they cunts in order to not, not blow my cover. Not blow my cover. I organised it all. It was me that killed the cunt. Why did he kill him? I was gone. He killed himself with the thing. The bike sticks to the sub. Just waiting for the plaster to come into our hallway. Exciting times for a 47 year old. It's going to be fucking brilliant. It's going to look amazing getting the plastering done. And remember to say, can you come back? Just do that right. That's not quite right. Get it done now while they're there. Everybody, I've got two wondrous and joyful games for you. It doesn't mean I'm going to play both of them today. I've got the Magnificent Truffle Pigs and Milo and the Magpies. They're wondrous and joyful and you're going to love them. They're going to love them. The Jersey Islander and Painted Plastic War Game thinks of subs and bits. A Spanish magician said he would disappear on the count of three. He said, uno, dos... And boom, he disappeared without a tress. Tres. 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 Hennessy, good interest in Gary Clark, thanks for the subs. Chew fucking chew, welcome back to the limit train. Dr. Himsa thinks of two the bits. Lulu, thank you very much for the sub. Thanks for two years of quality entertainment. You're welcome. Glad you like the sub, not a cure return. Quarterstone, thanks for the sub. Thanks for the 10 out of 10. Thank you very fucking much. The bikes. And Samuel thanks for the subs. Let's go. Let's go. A wondrous and joyful. Wondrous and joyful. Here we go. Let me think. The Marx is thinking thinks of turn of bits. Man stuck and broken down lift with David Ike, who starts to suspect he's a lizard. Thank you very much for that. Right, 
I'm thinking if I should do the Magnificent Truffle Pigs, which is a... What, what was that, Marx's thing? Is that meant to be an improv idea? or Young Toby thinks that in a bit's got, just got a bit in post. I hope you like it. Akatora thinks the sub. Shout out to your mate Harry Harriman on his birthday. Happy birthday, Harry Harriman. Hollow Game thinks the turn of bits. My family and I were trying to figure out what to do with my granddad. Get him buried. Uh, uh, bury him or get him cremated. In the end, we just decided to let him live. Walton thinks the sub. One terrible unsub day of adverts. I had to use the Bezos box. Thank you very much for the prime sub. Right. A walking about one, walking sim type of game made by somebody who worked on Everybody's Gone to the Rapture. A kind of, it's a kind of Firewatch sort of game, but I've heard it's maybe not as good. The story's a bit shy or something like that. I don't care. Or this hand-painted point-and-click one called Milo and the Magpies. I'm going to go with the wee, the hand-painted one for something completely different, right? And these are games that have got fairly good reviews. Hold on, where's the sentence? Where's it? This is it. This is it. And this game is called Milo. And the word, there it is. I'll change it. That's it. Look at this. Look at this, eh? Can you go on record that this is not getting binned? It's not getting fucking binned because it's, um... Oh, it lasts about an hour and a half. Keyled thinks for the sub. Thank you very fucking much. Here we go. The OST is sick! Here we go. Let's see what this is all about. I don't know much of it. This is hand-painted, hand-crafted. In fact, let's get a wee bit of backstory. Uh, Milo, Magpies, CT Davis thinks this. That's why I wear grey t-shirts and like grey hoodies and all that because I just can't. I can't change. I can't get it out of my head. I don't know what to do out here. Better year I did. I don't know what to do out here. CT Davis thinks to the sub. You're very fucking welcome. Or the best for your COVID. The Legend of Mark and RG Cut thinks the subs and bits. The sixth six shakes sixth sheeps. Sick. Vratush and Rowan thinks the subs and fiver. You're very fucking welcome. All the best to you. I did 40 fucking year for a crime I did not commit. He just grabbed me and went like, you did it. Just grabbed me. That was like a, a triple murder. Went like, you did it. I was like, what are you fucking on about? What are you on about? I was seven. Triple murder. Gang, gang fucking related. Gangsters. Right, let's go. Don't know anything about this. Oh, I was going to fucking look at the... Right. Don't get distracted. Oh, look. Vera meets Joan. Look at that another time, though. <laughs> Milo and the Magpies. Don't, 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 look. Um, look. Official trailer. Mobile release. Don't tell us it's on fucking mobile. Makes me feel like I've got something that's cheap and nasty. 
Look! Look at that, look. There you are. Are you actually putting brush strokes? I can see it, I can see it happening. I can see it happening. Aye. There you go. Right, so, so that's all I'm going to show. So, just to get you interested, like a bottle of wine or something, or whiskey, it comes from here, and it's made in this way, just to get you enjoying it even more, savouring it. It's like if I was to sell you a bottle of water that's that size. In fact, I saw that in a fucking airport. Where did I see that? Was that like in fucking Glasgow airport? It was something like a bottle of fucking water. That's it. Where did I see that? Did I see that in the airport or did I see it in a fucking uh, online? A bottle of water like that size to go with whiskey that costs like a couple of quid because it's like water for some fucking stream in Scotland. How you, you can sell an idea. Scottish Mike, sugar ship, sugar sip, Woodlouse thinks the subs. So for my pie, thanks to three on a bits. This game had better be respectful of my people. It will be, I think. I think it will be. Right, here we go. This is it now. No more YouTube. And we go. Just three roofs to cross and then I'm home. It's no roofs. <laughs> Why are these birds always blocking my way? Go away! I have to get rid of them. Chapter 1. The first step home. Oh, there's something like that. Now I have to find my way through the gardens of these. I give a second to read it. There's something like that in the hidden garden, round the back of the Lord's Provost house thing in Glasgow. I've been to it. See that? See that fountain thing? See that fountain? Lemme Secret Garden. The Secret Fountain. Here we go. Sorry about the music in the background. Hey guys, Brian Lemon here. I'm just continuing to give you my tour of Glasgow. Right now, I'm behind the province lordship, which is actually the oldest house in Glasgow. But right here, if you go around the corner and walk to the back, near the back of the secret garden, there's a fountain, this fountain Look. right here. It's a different kind of fountain because it's not really spurting up. It's like a kind of flat one. Oh my God, look, it's a pigeon, look, look. <laughs> I'm so funny. Oh my God, it's drinking the water. Oh my god! <laughs> Did anyone see that? Oh my god! Now that's a video. Now that's a fucking video. <laughs> now that's a video, man. That's content there. There you go. That's fucking content there, man. There you go. Pandable, thanks for the sub. Great video, thank you very much. Oh, make me laugh so much. Click on my little fucking will. Mega Tofu thinks it's up. You're a miracle of nature, just like that pigeon. Thank you. Click on Milo, okay. And let me fucking read it. What's that up there? What's this? What's this? Hey, what's that? Right, there isn't a set. Oh, wait. Right, there's, there isn't a kind of tech speed. Let's get into it. 
đấy Uh, I've got to go through these people's gardens, it says. Let's fucking go then. Let's go. A game of hide and seek. Um, click on me again. Look. Some obje objects can be activated by clicking on them. What is it? Smaller objects can be dragged and put elsewhere. Right? Well, what the fuck are you? Put the stone on the fountain. Right? What fucking stone? What? Right, well, that's covering it, right? What? Like that? Did I drag that? Right, so I, I don't know. I mean, it's just telling me to do things. So I don't. I, I, maybe this is like a kind of tutorial sort of thing. She's looking at. Who am I? Right, click on Milo. Who put the stone there? Um. Sorry to any, but sorry to any magpies. Um, this is funny, this, isn't it? It quick, quickly, the artist. Chapter two. Ayara. There's an artist in this house. The fuck is this madness? Um. This is this is strange. Jeff Mosh, thanks for the sub. Lovely stream today. Glad you're enjoying it. Um, right, so what? Right, I'm going to click on that fish. Uh, loud. Right, wait, look. Look, there's the, there's the hand. Click on it. And then nothing happens. Clickable. Does it, right, what's that do? Does that just move them? You know what this reminds me of? Some of the things we used to make in Flash. You know, like a kind of, um, there's some things we made about, like, t uh, 2000, where, or, 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 like, 2001, like, for various sort of clients, like, it'd be, we did something for, like, BBC Choice, which was, then became BBC Three, and we did some children and stuff, so, it'd be a wee scene, and you're meant to do some, there's some things you can do. But there'd be other things in the background. Oh, if you click on that guy, he does this. If you click on that bird, oh, it goes tweet, 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 and flies about and he comes back. You know, wee things like that. They just, you're like, oh, if you do that, it doesn't actually do anything. Do you know what I mean? It's just like, oh, it's interactive. There's a hedgehog you can click on. He's away. He's away. Right, click on Milo. Where's the artist looking at like? You click on artist. He's looking out. Now here's where it gets trippy. Who am I? When that brick got placed on the fountain, who did that? The cat didn't. The cat can he place bricks on fountains? Am I God? Right, Milo, do your, do your thing. I don't know. Did I just... A fence! That fucking magpie again! <laughs> I love this! 
This is my sort of game, this. This is that fucking magpie again. <laughs> My like that, yeah. <laughs> this is my sort of game, no of that fucking space invaders, do you know what I mean? No that fucking Call of Duty Grand Theft fucking space invaders, man. This is a game. I clicked them again. <laughs> there he is, look! Yes, I zoomed in. Uh, to a house, eh? Hell yeah. There's your two hearts, man. Oh. There it is. Doesn't matter where I click. There it is, man. Two of hearts. I'm going to click on the seven of diamonds. Two of hearts. Is that a collectible? Did you find all the secrets? I fucking will. I fucking will. Find all the secrets? Open that door. Yes! The door handle came off. Is that a secret? Bastard. Hell yeah. Maybe this is just to kind of show off the, the painting or something. There's the hedgehog. We had it, the hedgehog. I'm going to call him Harry. Miss a game, I love this. I'm going to call him Harry. There'll be something in the tree. Oh, look, there's a... There we're to... Oh! Look, there's an arrow to the right. What is that? Why is there an arrow going to the right oh a fucking secret um look that 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 and that there are four things here paintbrush bottle, a frog, and an apple. Right? Four things. Now you could say B for brush, B for bottle, F for frog, A for apple. Could that then mean 2, 2, A, B, C, D, E, F, 2, 2, 6, 1, What are you doing? What are you doing? Right, open, I say. Open. Um, Don't they do spoilers? They spoilers, man. You see? You see? Everybody, oh, wait, 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 wait. Two. Why are we zooming in on the two A diamonds? Why is that arrow there? The bottle is two. Here. Is it? How many brushes can you see? How many bottles can you see? How many frogs can you see? Can you flip it? I don't I don't think so. You see this fucking game. This game sort of thing idiots dafties will go, what's this? Uh, what's this? That's a lot of shit. You've got to find the game within the game. 
This game rewards intelligence, says Ferglord. Yes. Stewie, thanks for the sub. It's not for everybody. Um. Wait, wait, wait. Wait. Oh, wait. Wait. Could it be then? What's that? What's this here? I smashed the windy. <gasps> I smashed the windy and look. He's looking in. Now, wait a minute. Go back to this. There's a bottle. The bottle. Right, and if you look at this bottle... Oh shit, I can't click on that anymore. I can't click on that anymore. Oh wait! What's he up to? <laughs> What's my little up to? Is he up to in there? There's a jacket. There's a key! What? That's a key. And I'm like, I don't even a key dropped in the fucking pond. <laughs> oh, there's artist. Artist is looking up. Elito, thanks for the sub. Thought some places like Cockett and Milton, I can't see. Outside Glasgow, mate, ain't that fucking brilliant? Big shout out to every country, Kudke. And Phil is me, Hagey. James and Stewie, thanks for subs, thanks again. Um, right, there's the bottle, there's a bottle, right? There's a number two. Next to the bottle, if we go here. There is a painting, and look, that's two, there's a bottle, could that be number two? What about the brush then? Right, right, more note. Right, artist. Eight! He, there, there it is, there it fucking is now. Now we're getting somewhere. Now we're fucking getting somewhere. That's got an 8 on it because brushes have got actual numbers on them. This isn't hand painted, this though, isn't it? Oh. I mean, this is like uh, CGI, if you know what I mean. This is CGI. This is computer generated imagery. Right, eight. So, the bottles are two. The brush is eight. And you can just brute force the other numbers because that'll be... Uh, excuse me. I didn't ask, I didn't ask where, the, where, where the other things are. Excuse me. There you go, there's the number three on an apple. What was the, was the three the last thing it was, wasn't it? There we fucking go. So there'll be a frog with number six on it. Right, right, right. Yes, man. Oh, there we go, a wrecked fucking bike, right? Now we get that. All right, just turn on the 2D handle. That's fine, that's fine. Quite a lot of frames involved in painting uh, a handle. That's fine. Now we've got enough water for the fish to move. Previously it didn't have enough water. Now it's moving, now we can get the key. How's that, how's that, sorry? The fish couldn't move a lot because there wasn't enough water. There's Milo. Look. Aye, give me the fucking... Give me the cutters. 
What's the fucking... Oh, right. Where's the fucking frog then? Oh! Did the frog have a number on it? Did the frog fountain have a number on it? Must have. It must have. That was a hedgehog, but that had a number. Six things in the crown. Oh, right. Right. Bags ain't stop, he thinks the subs. Won't be home. Fucking yes. Relax, man. You get mail work done when you're no working. Right, on you go. Get that cut. That's it, Milo. You get through there. There we are. It's a toad. Child's play. Well, a cat can never resist a box, that is true. I don't think a cat would be thinking about being a cat, though cats don't know their cats. I don't think. Let me see if I've got the secrets. No? Alright. Let's see, man. Let's, hold on, let me check for secrets. Ah, the devs fucking hate me. There's a balloon. Look, if I keep clicking it, it moves about. There's something. There's something there. Congratulations, you found a secret. There you are. There you are. There you fucking go. There you fucking go. Right. It's funny, isn't it? Shoots are funny. I can tell you right now that all, all the wins want to they prefer to be on the phone uh, or tablet. We bastard. See if that fucking see if that falls in my garden one more time. There is zero protection here. No netting around. Oh, well, look. Look how high he's jumping. <laughs> right, Milo, do your thing. Right, Milo, you do your thing then. Have I got to make... Hmm. This is actually where it becomes a very, very complex game. Now, why is Milo not moving? Milo... Now you may have moved to something interesting. Milo isn't wanting to move. Now. Hmm. Now we've got a balloon. We've got five helicopters. Uh, get on the... Yeah, um, short. And a boy on a trampoline. We have a balloon. We have a magpie. Now! From this we can do just the following. Right. Oh, that's in the chopper box. Milo's in the chopper box. Crudeth thinks it's up. Turn 33 yesterday, any chance you could say something to me and Pfeiffer? The 666 mark and the Beast Fife part had me in tears all day. Cheers, mate. Um, well, 33 times 2 is 66, eh? So that's two thirds of the way there. Eh? 
two thirds of the right is six six six. What's two thirds? What's two thirds? Sixty six point six 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 A. Percent A. Eh? Right, here we go, here we go. Right, so... Right, we click on Milo. Milo's like, no, I'm not doing it. Milo's looking at us. Um, what if I make that go up and... What about that balloon? Oh, what's that? Oh, she went to get... She got the ball. Thanks. Milo, do you want to go and get the ball? Look at that, everybody. The helicopter made the ball move. Now, um, her coming down the chute will somehow... Oh, look! He said enough. Is he nodding? I think he was nodding there like that. Fucking bastard. Milo, get him. There's a fucking cat there, dickhead. You... Just gonna laugh. Just gonna laugh. Right. Milo, do something. Right, parachute, uh, parachute, helicopter one. Right. Oh, watch if we time it just right. <laughs> uh, nothing happens. <laughs> Milo. Milo! <laughs> oh! Oh, is it getting faster? Oh, did he kick it? I, I, I looked away there. Did he, did he kick it out into the water? She kicked the ball. I looked away. I was looking at the fucking chart. The shotgun shells. The shotgun shells in that box. Look. Don't say shoot kids, please. Thank you. Circumcised unicorn, Puss McGee. Thanks for the subs. Here we go. As batteries. Put the batteries. Uh, do you need it in there? There you go. Has that made you happy? How about it? That's the magpie away. Right, Milo. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Milo, mate. <laughs> This wee bastard with the boys. Oh, happy. Really happy, aye. On your way, Milo. Chapter 4. Feed the birds. Top into a bag. Yes, cunt. Why are you bothering with the fucking binoculars? It's right there. And she's out here anyway. It's not like, I better stay in here. It's it's how I can look at the birds without disturbing them. She's out there moving about. His eyesight's gone. There's a gnome. It's alive. It's a snail. 
a, a worm. Not a fucking snail. Is it? A fucking snail. Oh, right, get get to the bird. Right, uh, what's what's that? Right, listen. Right, just fuck off with that. There you go, Milo. Do you want it? Do you want it? We we gave the worm to the magpie. We put the mag uh, the worm there, and that scared away. There you go, that's a wee worm for you. Would you like to eat it? No? Right. This cunt can see us. This guy can see me playing this game. There's a bin. Yes, man. Look in the bin. Bread. Give me that. Here. You want that? Here, you want that? Oh, here comes a, a finch. I don't really know if that is a... There we are. There you are. And, uh, do you want to go and eat them? There's an apple. Oh, she's scared away. Milo. Would you like... Put an apple up there. Who would like an apple? There's a snail! Oh, I made the snail roll down. That was fucking snide. There's seeds! And there's this. Milo's gonna have some fucking feast here, man. Look, they're all coming! Is that gonna eat the fucking snail? That's fucking barbaric. It's, it's smashing the snail. The, the snail. A snail assassin. Oh my god. Right, Milo. I think it's safe to go. You happy, mate? What's your What's your wee book? Oh, there we go. You're looking for one male. And what do you like? Do you want to be twig? Right, what do you... Hold on, let's see if Milo can get across. Nope. Um. A wee twig of some... Oh, some dude! Who's this? A watering can. Uh, maybe there? Maybe there? For the water? Here comes the wee robin. There we are. There you are. Yeah, yeah, I got everything. A, a fucking peregrine falcon. Peregrine falcon. Or a... A sparrow hawk. Well, they're all looking up there. Milo, run. So keep looking, keep looking, keep looking. Check, check. This hedge is too thick. I will try and move further in the garden. Chapter 5, A Fishing Trip. Fallen sleuth and ekied in the slam tent. Thanks to the subs and three quid. Thanks for shouting, oh, you fucking bastard, just as opposed to put a letter through my door. That's me guaranteed a job in the mail. Oh, sorry. Um, time it again, the morrow, and I'll say... Um, I love the... Postman, come in. Date the morrow, we'll have a wee laugh about it, right? Uh, and I'll say, here, posty. I'll fucking kick your cunt in, eh? 
Ben Wisson, Peregrine, uh, Cam Mike and Seb Max plays thanks to the subs. Conto Me Conto is going to be in a, a, that new Netflix um, PGA Tour thing. Yes. Golf. Yep. Right, so it's this dickhead one. Right, Milo, go for a walk. When you go. He's not going to be happy with that. Who is she? She's having a wee look going, Aww, a cat. What now, Milo? Who's this cunt? Right, nothing's happening here. Right, so... Right, there's a dog. There's a dog doing fuck up. What's she doing? Ah, A full table. Music is very loud. No? Says familiar. Well, is it? Is it? A bit. Right, I'll turn it down a wee bit. A wee bit. I'll turn it down a wee, wee, wee bit. So if I click on that dock, if I click on that, if I click on that, I click on that, I click on that. There's a fucking. What is that? It's a, a crocodile. Right, so there's a full. Right, that's a buzz. Right. Right, let's click on a soldier. A soldier's probably fucking young gun me, man. Uh... Oh, I see. Right. Right, so I've got to kind of move them in a way maybe that lets the fish past or something. What is it? Oh! Look! Right, if, if, I, if I do that and then I do that um, hold on. So if I do this, if I do that, that's fuck old. Is that, is that the end? That one goes there. <gasps> Wait. Wait. Will these birds only fuck off once they're fed? And will this fish only cross the water until the birds fuck off? At uh, once they fuck off. And depending on what she chucks out, I've got to, like, look, look, she's chucked it like that there, right? On you go. That's not really how it works. Does she, is she doing it in order? That looked like white. There's white. White again. White again. Right, so if I what did I do that and then Right, right, I see. Right, are you away now? Oh, now she's a way to get, right, white bread, brown bread, different things here. And she just went to get that brown bread there, right? I think, does that mean it's going to be... Right. Right, she's just going to keep on doing it. There you go. And then she might get that black stuff, so I think maybe... There we go. And now she's getting like the kind of red thing, so... 
chuck that uh, and there, there you go right and then I just chuck some kind of white spotted things that's our way everybody happy wheeze go a wheeze go bread kills ducks no it doesn't mouldy bread is bad for them so in general you shouldn't do it because a lot of people go like oh take that bread that we don't really take that bread that's gone out of, out of date and get to the ducks or something like that stale bread or something like that you know doing it yet mate no yet Got anything? <laughs> it's an old boot. Love doing that, man. Love going down to the old, uh, the old local river and chucking, chucking a big kind of boot, kind of shoe, in. I go again. Oh wait. What was that? Coming out of the boot. This mile has just been fucking. Oh shit. Help! What are you fucking doing? Cats can swim. Oh for fuck's sake. It's all over. Make them swim fucking faster. What if I don't? What if I don't? And if I don't? And if I don't? And if I don't? I'm just waiting till I see blood. No. Hey! Eat that. Eat that. Buckarooed right in the face. Aunt Cobbs falling slow thanks for subs. I'm going to keep on making a fantastic tune, Aunt. It tunes absolutely. Mayor Ableton at some point. Right, Milo, you're freezing cold. Right, are, are you fucking smiling? Just watching a fucking cat drowning. That's it. That's it. There we go. What's she wearing? Looks like she's out in her socks. And if I don't know, I wanted to see if they're actually in a sweet wee game like this. I'm going to, uh, like Milo getting her, her legs bit off or something. Oh, it's the same laugh. Wait a minute, is that that same win? No, not going to be. Milo's fuzz laugh. <laughs> After the hair dried in for fucking fuzzy laugh. <laughs> How the fucking right this man? How? Got a problem, Doug? Jack Russell. We got a problem. There you go. Chapter 6, Boogie Time. Yes, man. Yes, sir. I can boogie. <laughs> but I need a certain song. <laughs> I can boogie. Scotland. There's nobody like us, eh? I can boogie. But I need a certain song. <laughs> 
Scott, everybody knows the Scots to be funny. Good laugh. Yes, sir. Ah, Ken Boogie. <laughs> Always up for a laugh, man. Us Scots are always up for a laugh, man. Yes, sir. Ah, Ken Boogie. Five years for now. Get it on again. Yes, sir. Ah, Ken Boogie. But I need a certain... Bonkwinkle, thanks for the sub. Absolute mad lads, you Scots. <laughs> Oh, look. Oh, fuck you. Up at top right here, look. Yes, cat. Oh, he's doing a wee, he's doing a wee heat thing like that. Oh. You're all right. What? Oh. Oh, he's not happy. He's not happy. Okay, dokie. Look, there's a cat in the cat flip. Looks like a sphinx cat. This is a wee bit sharper than everything else that's up here. I wonder if I'll get used for something. But, uh, um, on you go, Milo. Go into the house. It's your house now. Oh, it's got a wee red light saying access denied. Catnip. I said, get fucking tore in, man. Get tore in, man. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me, Milo's like that. Yes, sir. I can book <laughs> Oh, what's this? Look at him fucking chuck these fucking cans up there. Fucking lagger loot with his fucking dance music. Hey. Shut it. What? You know what they're fucking like? You know what the you know what the working classes are like with their dance music? You're the one playing the fucking piano, dickhead. Hey. Shut it. Right, right, sheet music. Milo, do something. Milo, do something. Well, it, it showed me. Oh, right, so, so. So when he goes back, nobody's going to happen. The Mad Cat Boogie. <laughs> yes, sir. Look, look at Milo. <laughs> How did I come up with this, man? The other day, uh, the other day, two days ago, was the 12 year anniversary <laughs> of the first episode of Let Me Show the Series. It was the beginning of January 2010. And now I can shoot an arrow to that cat. 
right against the collar. The collar has come down. Um, Milo, um, awkward. Sorry to disturb you, but we need to get home. Um, um, Milo, sorry to break up the party, but we're actually to get home. Um, it's getting dark. Um, well, that's right, the special collar that will enable Milo to go into the house now. Access granted. Yes, man. Fucking yes, man. This is the your fucking house. Bartolio, Seabright, Bite Block. Thanks for the subs. See if I saw a strange cat come into my house. I'd be like to it. It would run like fuck, man. Whatever way it came in, that's the way it would go out. And if it didn't go out, I would uh, go out it and open the door and go, out, out you go. This is the youth house. Out you go. Out. This is the youth house. Right, uh, there's Milo. Right, Milo. See what happens if you go. All this dancing made me thirsty. That's it. Get tore in. Get tore in. Well done. That's it. Perhaps there are stairs over there. I can go back to the roof. Give me a wee chance to read that game. Thank you. There's that sphinx cat. That door is closed. Wait a minute, look. Is that a cat? Laser pen. Go. There we go. Right. I Right, go switch that one, or switch the light off, whatever it is it, go. I'm going to have to, uh, uh, right, I'm going to have to, right, right. Aye, aye, right, right. No, 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 a little. Give me a key, by the way. That's it, give me that key. What's up here? There's a magpie up there, look. Up here. Up there. Up there. Well, look, the Sphinx. Um, it actually is has it actually has got hair. It's just that it's um, I don't know, not a lot. What like you then? <laughs> Wait, can you go up there? Up there. Smash that. Right, come here. Come here, no. That's it. Now switch that one. That's it, there's the light off. There's a key up there. Oh, look. Just behind you. Oh, look! I found a fucking secret. That moved the ball. That's it, Milo, go. Uh, Milo, uh, right, let's look up there, right? Hey, go where there. You can't. Right. Right, alright, and go where there. Maybe it's always got to be in for the, where the cat's looking. Right, and the cat's coming back. Right, got, right, shut that. But what I'm going to try and do is... Right, put that back here, there. The light is back on. Right. Um, can you go yet? Shit. Up there? Up there? 
Up. The sock. Fucking hell. It, ah, pull, pull that right out. Go. Pull that right out. Right out the socket. Now back here. Milo, what is it you're doing down there? What about the, what about the cup? What about the cup? Come on, cat. Hey, right, up here. Right, uh, aye. Milo. Oh, I, I put the key in there. Right. Right, there we go. Look, everybody. Look. Ball, cup, plant. That. Beethoven, clock, sun, a feather, and then something. Ball, cup, and flower. Ball, cup. Uh, do all these things exist? What was it? We can a flower pot that there maybe? I can of click on it. There's a picture of the cat. There's the Beethoven thing. Right, so is it kind of like telling me the order? I don't see a plant pot. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. There's, there's that, but I can't even click on it. Is there something there? Is there something there? What about the mirror? Oh! That's funny. That's funny. It's shining in the mirror. And that's shining up there. It's like the cat needs to be looking in a certain way. The cushion. Oh, the fucking cushion there. I see. Right, so ball, cup. Ball, cup. Right. So the ball. What, what, is that a particular kind of body? Or, uh, kind of got the, got the stripes. Right, will you, will you go there? Right. And then the cup. Right, and then there. Right, and then that picture. And then Beethoven, the clock, and then the sun. Right, up to the clock. Up to here. Feather being there. All right, very clever. Jump. And then. And then. You know what happened, didn't you? Um, and then, and then, a oh, door handle, of course. I would have got that. I would have got that. Oh, look! There's a piano cunt. Yes? What? There you go, Milo. Run for it. Yes? Did you hear that? Oh, you fucking bastard. What's a fucking cat owner go, oh, fucking scruff of the neck? I hope you 
die. Hey, Chantal? It's alright to say it's alright to wish death on a, a fictional painted character. Hey Chantel Oh so he he's an art a cultured guy with a piano grabbing a fucking cap of scruff and a neck like that. I bet he looks after his fucking uh, dog. Oi. Don't judge a book by its cover. Chris Bate, Gilmore and Bubba Chee thinks the sub. Thank you very fucking much. King Kong Smogdong thinks the sub. You're welcome. Bry Breadman thinks the three quid. Don't use fucking, don't say that, don't say words like that, please Ry, thanks. Right, here we go. Is that a techno? Y X M P. Right, first of all, Milo, what are you gonna do? You're not going down there, right? Why would the dog open the door? Me yappy. I kill you. <laughs> I like fucking stop. Oh here. Look in there. Let's making drugs. I kill you. Making drugs and and uh, playing techno. Oh wait, I can move these about, everybody. I can move these about. I bet it's the that picture there. Oi, oi! And me, and the wife, and my son, who's into that fucking ash. And my daughter is in all that fucking gothic. Uh, taking your dog. Wait a minute, they're, they're in holiday. Taking your fucking dog and your rat. On holiday, like a pantry place. Flowery dress. Flowery, white, red, black, stripey. That's it. Oh, we've got ourselves the dress. That's, that's it. It's dropped in. Right, rip it up, youngin. Get into it, yappy. Rip it to shreds. Right. What's she up to? She's just in there watching the telly. You know what these uncultured lots of uh, types are like? Watching the telly and listening to techno and smoking weed. <laughs> Y X M P. Y X M P. Well, there's four left here. Y X M P. Got the M and the P stone for. Could be something to do with that. I don't get some. Uh, well, we'll look about. We'll look about. Uh, can you do anything yet? No. Wait a minute. Anything here? Uh, right. You got something to say? Um, let's see. Let's see now. Let's just see. Um, what happens if She changes channel. A 
I tell you what. Okay, put on that. Oh wait, right. What's that? What's that? Something's in there. Oh. I've switched. I've switched these fucking hash. Hash farm out. Uh half. That's it. Um, oh, wait, 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 wait. Right, as he's, he's harsh, it's switched off. There! Kill you. I've got a bottle. Uh, would you like a bottle? Would you like a fucking bottle, you fucking lagger lout? There we go, he's happy. Fucking got no fucking respect for own property. Right, broken bottle. Broken bottle against this fucking hash bag. Yes, it did, and all it ripped open. There's a rat. You gonna eat the rat? Aww. This will be rat. Oh. Right, go. Um. Right, that's a... YXMP. Oh, licking the beer. He's ready, is he ready for a wee sleep? Because he's drunk. Oh. No, he just... Now he's feeling aggressive. This is it. This is it now. This is it now. Missing cat named Milo. Grey coloured. Look everybody. Uh, Marilyn and Peter, and I know how to say that name because I'm Marilyn Robertson, and I think I'm saying it right. Oh look! Hashids. Hashids. Okay, okay. Yvonne, Xander, Marilyn. Is it? Is it Marilyn? And Peter. There's your letters there. Hoping for a second chance. The Stickle Mayor family is. Settling nicely into their new home, the family moved house after multiple disputes with the locals in a previous neighbourhood. The complaints range from weird smells to lots of noise from the family dog. Yop, yop, yap, who is described to bark at everything around the yard. Painter Yanko Rommel caught exhibits in town hall. There's the, the painter, famous piano player Jan. I bet he's a dickhead. I'm not happy for him. And there. Is that? So, Yvonne, Xander, Marilyn, and Peter. Right, that is, that is the order of them actually in that thing. Could that be... Right, well, it's not, got the, it's not got the number of fucking... Um, is it... You have another wee drink. 
You have another wee drink there. I see you sit down. I see. Uh, is this? I try not to look at the chat just for this wee bit because I know you just gotta go like that. Is this? And isn't it, there was the point in fucking playing a game. This is new getting into a real game, everybody. A real game. If on Xander, Marilyn, Peter, any numbers? Any numbers? What is this anyway, by the way? Fucking newsletter. Or oh, they've moved to us. The trouble. This is this got a classist way yet. Right. Could it be the number? Could it be the order that they're standing in? No, because that's just one, two, three, four. It is not that because her clothes are on the ground. this hmm any numbers let's open this door again I really don't want to look at the chat just now just, just uh, chill out dude guy's coming I kill you that's it go do it again do it again go I kill you. Right. Did that bottle? That broken bottle bag. She's she's turning the telly. She's We ordered that that dress fell down for, for, for some reason. Right? There's that rat. He goes to the dog goes to the rat. Milo still can't move. Nothing up at the tree. The numbers correspond to what? What do the numbers correspond to? Would it be that? Would it? Would it be the? Would it be the order? Of this? Because that is the fucking order of them in, in, in every picture. What, in this picture? Um, this is, what would the number correspond to, I wonder? Just trying to figure this out. The dog drinks. Right, the dog drinks. And then what? She just switches the telly. He's fucked off. He opens that. I switch that. I switch this off. Can I? Does they come out? It was on. Knew it's off. I think. What did, what purpose did switching? I kill you. Switch the light back on, see what happens. Switch the light back on. I think the light was on. I kill you. No. Um. So I reordered the clothes. I kill you. That dress fell down once I put it in the order that was in this here. Right. Is that is that her fucking rat? No, it's a Does that? Disney really didn't know. She's sitting there with a the telly. Did that go yellow? No. 
I'm about to I'm about to ask you, right? Let's put it force it. Look at this one more time. What uh Peter Um Number of letters in each name, possibly. I'll try that. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, six, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Six, six, nine, five. Let's try that. I can't see any other. Any other? No. I can't think of any other number. Right, what do you think then? YXMP? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Why? X M P Xander Marilyn Peter I that's that's Right what do you think then What do you think Box it's the box All right, so if I click on, oh shit, I'm just spat everywhere. So I've clicked on her, her dress. One. And, uh, uh Zandama. One. The rat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, four. Avon. Because she's got a rat, even though hers is white. Xander gets five. And the beer, which is today with... Which is today with the, the da. Peter. Three. Didn't notice that at all. There we fucking go then. There we are. There we are. Remote. There you go. You have that. No, you have it. No, no. Gate to Milo. There you go. There you are. <laughs> she's just looking at it. She's just looking at that. Look. Oh. Oh. Thunderstorm, everybody. Thunderstorm. Chapter 9, The Final Storm. Film road and thanks for sub. Any... Um, uh, film road that says, Hello, let me any chance I can get one single piece of bulletproof advice as a new Dark Souls player. Um, forget about parrying with a shield. Oh no, no, don't actually. That's actually very useful. Um, look up guides. 
on where to get things. Because honestly, there's fucking stuff. There's like titanite shards, titanite chunks. That goes up there, down there, run here, up there, run there. If you go there, you get this ring that helps you with this and helps you with that. Look up videos that say, things I wish I knew before playing Dark Souls. Because, honestly, see the bosses and all the rest, it's already fucking hard enough. It's not, it's not the sort of game where, if you just watch the game and pay attention, play the game, it'll, it'll, it'll gauge you. Um, look up things like best starting class. Don't bother doing stu something stupid like leveling up magic when you're not when you're going to be doing something else. Brad Damon, thanks for the sub. A blessed day to you and yours, or else, thank you very much, and to you. Big shout out to Canada. Peace and shite, thanks for the sub. Squeeze the blackhead that reminded me of you this morning. Can you squeeze blackheads? Oh, excellent. Thanks for the sub. Love the stream. Makes work a joy. Bit risky having the volume up. My manager in the next room, but you taught me all about being bold. They're probably watching me, I know. I thought Blackhead was something that's within, like, the pores or something, and you can't kind of really, I don't know. You can squeeze anything. Right, so you can squeeze um, something at the other side of the universe, I <laughs> didn't think so. No, I didn't think so, somehow. Got you there. Right. As I've on. Let's open this. I've won the window opened. Are they looking at me? Are they looking at me? Am I here? Does she know she's in a game? Does a rat know? A diary? With a key? Let's get that red. Open that again. Right. <laughs> She'll be raging over that. Let's get the diary open, man, man. She read the secrets. Now, I'm hoping to fuck there is nothing in this diary that makes the game pure fucking heavy. So, we arrived in our new house. I really do like it here. I think it's a better neighbourhood. But better neighbourhood and I got my own room now. Let's hope this time my family doesn't get in trouble again but my brother already used the shed to grow oregano as he says. He is such a moron sometimes. I mean he just doesn't learn and my father doesn't appreciate the piano music of our new neighbour to say the least. He tries to remain kind though which is kind of fun to see. Kind? What? He tries to remain kind though, which is kind of fun to see. Today suddenly a magpie entered my room. The bird was totally fascinated by one of my piercings lying on the table. I think he likes the gloss. Gloss? So I let him take it. I wanted a new one anyway. He flew away with it to its nest. Well just imagine that's the characters then its IT apostrophe S incorrectly there. Shiny! What? Uh, to its nest. I saw him loose it there. He probably didn't know what to do with it. For the rest... For the nest, everything is quite boring. For the rest, everything is quite boring here. I wish something unexpected would happen. Well, there's other mistakes. I could find a million mistakes. There's a cat turning into a bird. Look! Yeah. Any other pages? Hold on. Oh, right. 
はい Just what's at home? <laughs> I know you're here. That. There you go. Oh look! Perhaps I can jump to my house at the end of this branch. These birds are protecting their nest. Oh, here you go. Maybe a peace offering. There you are. Got the earring. Give that to Milo. No, give that to the magpie. There you are. Um. And um. Uh, can I go now? <laughs> oh. The magpie dropped the ring. No. I can go. Shit, dude! Oh, look! Look! Roof tile. I didn't say. I didn't say play this game for me. I did not say play this game for me. I didn't say that. I didn't say play this game for me. Thanks for ruining the entire game. You've entirely, entirely ru ruined it. Completely ruined it. No, no discovery for me. I don't get any discovery. No feeling, no reward of discovery for me because of this lot in the chat. Latchmore, thanks for the sub. And I'll for Bobby. Thank you very much. I'll pass that on. Fast Cat Miles, thanks for the, the 200 bits. The Chucky Dregs meeting, shame you had that one. Oh, oh I Fucking ha- uh, I remember seeing that, like, suggested on YouTube recently. I fucking forgot about it. Crimson, thanks for the sub. You're welcome. You're going to get through your shift. Your work shift. Right, so what minute's that? Fucking tile. What happened to remove that tail? Oh look! I found a secret! It's a bat stuck. So many bastards glued a bat to the fucking roof. So many absolute fucking bastard. Maybe maybe you can go that way. Um would you like Is there something... One... Two... Three... Four... Five... One... Aha! It's one of these ones, everybody! Well, if you don't click it in the right order... Right, so... One... Three... Two, one, three, four, one, three, five, four, one, three, five, two, four. Hey! Do what? Hey! Right? Right, you better fuck off now. Get him! 
Masha. I set my... Feel that up, lad. Hey, what are you going to do? Oh, for fuck's sake. Do the magpie will reward. That was close. I guess I have nine lives after all. As the humans say, because I can understand English. How am I going to get back? I did save the life of that little bird. For saving my child's life, I will call upon the magpie council to lift you up and fly you over. Are you ready for your journey? You fucking ought to know. They ought to know. Come. Oh, she's what? Look. She see Yvonne's seen something unexpected. Look. I'm telling you, Dad, I saw two magpies carry the, the cat to the house. You be smoking that Xander's hash. They are so easy. There we go. Back. I don't mind them smoking that stuff. I don't mind them selling that stuff. But the fucking... We had fucking high hopes for you. You told me fucking two months fucking getting in the body. Yes! I'm back! Where is he? There we go. Oh, waving! Milo waved to us because Milo was aware that we were here. Did you find all the secrets? Maybe I did. Thank you for bringing Milo home, but tell us what you think. What, you want a fucking review? Overwhelmingly positive. All reviews. You want a fucking review? Get a review right now. Right. Milo. And the magpies. £1.69. Thumbs up. Wonderful wee game. Ah, uh, yeah. Post review. That's that. Ah, uh, yeah. I was 169 quid. Uh, classist xenophobic trash. <laughs> right. Did you find all the secrets? Let's see. I found three. That's good enough for me. That's more than enough. There we are. Play again. Oh, wait a minute. There you are. Do you... Do you refuse... To give me an exit button? There it is there. There we go. Yeah, that was a game. Yeah, that was a fucking game. And I've got another one. Another wondrous and joyful game ready for you right fucking now. Or, oh, see, the quizzes, I need, see these quizzes. I think I've done them all. I think I've done them all. Golf. 
let's put it to an advisory poll, an advisory referendum. Right. Uh, what now? Quiz? Golf? New game? Another new game? Subnautica? Um, I, I we'll leave it. I do that. Let's see what happens. Right, I suppose this is purely advisory. It's not decisive. The outcome of this doesn't just decide it. It's just for my just for my knowledge. That bell is for me. That that that. Where you going? Sit down. That bell is for me. Another new game is well in the lead at 61%. Golf is in second place at 24%. I've got another new game, a wondrous new game lined right up for you. I think you're going to like it. Where are you going? Sit down. That bell is for me, not you. Right, go. Spencer Rooney, thanks for the sub. You're welcome. Right, 62%, another new game. It is purely just an advisory poll, but it just so happens that oh, I'm going to be doing it uh, anyway. Here we go. Here is a game called The Magnificent Truffle Pigs. That's a funny name. That's a funny name. Here we go. Check this out. Check this out. Right. Audio. Yeah. How'd you find these games? In my game suggestions channel in my Discord server. Exclamation mark Discord for a link to my Discord if you're into that sort of thing. I can imagine music just a wee bit done. Maybe there. I'm just predicting. That's the way we'll like it. Graphics. Maximum. No, no, no. All right, all right, that's right. Fuck it. Motion blur. Off. Everything else. Go for it. It's a bit quiet. I think we'll turn this up a bit because it's got voice. It has got speaking. Here we go. This game is made in Yorkshire. You're on the Yorkshire lad. Oh, uh, the magnificent truffle pigs. Cress up says this is a nice relaxing one. I'm imagine I've just I've just watched a wee video at like about ten seconds. It has got a kind of fire watch look to it. We are holding something, speaking to somebody who you don't see or something. This might be not as good as that, but. Remember that game you played, Cress Up um, uh, Nuts, that I played as well? We try to get like wee videos of um, squirrels. That was good, that, wasn't it? I liked that. That was something a bit different, wasn't it? Right, here we go. I'll just get a wee moment, though. Let's just get a wee moment. Just get a wee moment to just, just settle settle yourself. Anybody wants to go for a shite. And Coyle, thanks for the sub. Have you ever watched the film Another Round? Uh, yeah. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it as someone who's experienced with those issues like alcoholism, drink problem sort of thing. Um, I liked it. I liked it. I didn't like it as much as maybe some other people liked it. I, I really like Mads Mikkelsen and I like that whole, you know, that that director, I've watched another two of his films, I think it's The Hunt and um, 
celebration, the celebration or whatever it's called. And I like them. I like that whole kind of style. Um, but it was just, there was something a wee bit, I don't know, something that wasn't, it was sort of missing something I couldn't quite put my finger on. Don't quite know what it was. Something like, imagine, you know, sometimes when you watch a film um, and you like it, but you feel, is this a full film? Or should this have been like a one hour thing? Or is this like a good idea, but really it needs another, it, I'm not a pure writer, writer. I'm no, you know, I'm not a pure writer, writer. I've written what I've written. But I'm not a writer, writer. Okay. You see what I'm saying there? You might slag it off, but you know what I'm saying. And that's what makes me a great writer. He said, I'm not a writer, writer. I've written what I've written, but I'm not a writer, writer. And on the surface, it just sounds really quite a silly thing to say. Childish almost. But what's genius about it is you actually know what he's saying. Only clever people will say that. No intellectual fucking um, kid or honours. Actual clever people. No people in some radio thing. Massive nights, thanks for the sub. Massive shite smell like it. That's what people are doing right now. Um... Like, I'm not like that right now. Time to move on to my seventh novel that I'm writing just now. I wrote the short stories that I wrote. I wrote the telly stuff that I wrote. That's it. I know that's something, but I'm not a perpetual writer and lover of writing. And yeah, let's move on to my next book. But it just felt like that film, I liked it and everything, but it just felt to me like it needed a wee extra, like, um, What'd you call it? A kind of extra wee subplot or something, or a wee, um, what'd you call it? I like an extra layer or an extra wee, you know, subplot or something, you know, something else. Just something else going on. You know, something else. But basically, the whole story is at the beginning, um, a Danish film, I think. And this group of guys, kind of middle-aged or thereabouts, one's a teacher, one's this, one's that, one's this, one's that, start looking into the kind of, um, some sort of theory or something that's been proposed in the past, some philosophical sort of thing or whatever, that the ideal way to be is to be a wee bit drunk. And, like, this guy was always like that, that guy in history, this one was always like that, that one was this one. A certain level, like, a certain, like, fucking alcohol level. It just relaxes you, makes you feel better, you've got a certain joie de vivre. You feel better, the people around you feel fucking better. But you've got to be at that certain level. No completely, completely sober, but just up a wee bit. Um, and so they investigate that and they'll try it together. So it's kind of like that. And as you can imagine, um, it, might, it goes well in some way and it goes bad in some other way. And so it's about that. And I fucking agree. I would agree. Depends, depends what sort of person you'll mind you, but... Um, if I had a pint in me, <laughs> I would agree. I if I had a pint, a pint in me. Um, I mean, I'm smiling just thinking about it. Or a red wine. I would feel better than not having it. I would feel much better. I'm thinking about it right now. It feels good just thinking about it. I would feel better having, um, like, say, a lunchtime pint. And that's what I used to have. I always have a lunchtime pint, maybe two, 
or every lunch, almost every lunch when I was working, doing web stuff and all that, a large red wine. Fucking magic just gives you a glow. A glow just makes everything chilled out. The problem was uh, I wanted another one and another one. The problem is, the, the trub- just like crunching up cornflakes, the trouble is, it tastes too good. Well, not tastes good, feels good. The next day, though, oh, fuck the next day, that day. Well, and the next day, actually, it was a fucking hangover that made me stop. Um. So I agree. The problem is, I can't moderate it. I like it too much. I love it. I fucking love it. Drunk Irish Steve, thanks for converting that Prime sub to a tiered one sub. Castle, thanks for the sub. You write novels and stories, the Jagger Boys write history. Thanks for the streams, you're welcome. <laughs> these fucking Jagger Boys, man. I've got a feeling these Jagger Boys are actually seriously, actually pretty bad. I've just got a feeling. These cunts that keep mentioning the Jagger Boys, I can imagine um, in the future I'll be like, nobody mention them anymore, seriously. Honestly. It's a band turn. Nobody mention them. Seriously. Oh, come on. No, seriously, I found out about them. They're seriously bad. Seriously, nobody mention them. We'll see. So, I, I, just, I don't want to know. If anybody finds out about the Jaguar boys, don't tell me. I don't want to know. Thanks for giving that sub to, uh, to Cress up. Thank you very much. Drunk Irish Steve. Um. You see, before I move on to this game, I just want to do one wee thing before, but between one game and another. Is there anything, is there anything, there was something I could show you. There was something I could show you or talk about. Um, anybody got a, a very, just like one question? Not, not a question that I can just answer just with words. But just um, yeah, something I can look up on YouTube or something. Top of the Pops. Solve a puzzle. Good interviews. Random Top of the Pops. There's, um... Generate, thanks for the sub. There's this thing I keep wanting to fucking see. It pops up my mind now and again um, when I'm listening to Depeche Mode. And it's Dave Gann, the singer. And the Depeche Mode 101 tour, film when he's thinking about what to say when he goes on stage at the Rose Bowl Pasadena and he said, I'm just saying that and like the sort of manager guy is saying, but why don't you say you know, hello Pasadena we are Depeche Mode, it's so good to be here and he goes, who do you think I am, bloody Wordsworth and I'm wanting to find that, because it's funny how, it's funny how the, the difference between how he speaks and how he sings. Like he would sing like that. That way that he sang in the 80s, but then changed it to a kind of more rocky sounding thing. Like, singing Martin Gore's lyrics and all the rest of it, but kind of singing that this serious, almost Hellraiser, Pinhead sort of fucking voice sometimes. And then when he speaks, he sounds like fucking Rylan. So if I could just find that wee clip. Have you seen that darts video doing it? Aye, aye, that's really good, that. That's really good, that. Do you know it's funny to see that there? Oh shit, it's away now. It's that film that licorice, licorice, lic- right, right, let's get this sorted out. Licorice, right, here we go. Def, let's do definition. That'll get there. We go. Licorice. 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 I've always said licorice. 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 But then I, I, I went like that one day. Why is it? Why is I C E ish? And I'm like, have I been saying it kind of wrong? Have I been saying it wrong? Licorice. 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 I see that licorice um, pizza. 
I saw, what did I see? was that a poster for it I saw? I read the like, criticism, oh, it's not, a, it's not really got much of a plot. It's a, what has been described as a hangout film. I Huffy Heim. Is it Heim? I was like, that kind of looks at her. And it is! So I don't know, it's like, got good reviews and all the rest of it, but I don't know. I don't know if it's from me, but I've, I don't really, I've been writing about these sorts of things before though. Where I go like that, like I don't really want to look into all this sort of retro, oh god, everything's so lovely and yellow, and went things better back then, I don't know, and then um, I don't like that sort of thing sometimes. I watch it and I like it, but I've got a feeling I might not like it. But, you know, it, like, no much a plot to it. I'm alright with that. Like, you know the film, there's a film called, um, um, what's it called? Uh, what's that fucking film called? It's, uh, um, um no, no, Results? I think it's called Results. It's got Guy Pierce and... If you're the folk, can't remember who the fuck it is. It's a mumble core film. It's a mumble core, and it's a sort of comedy kind of film. But it's no <laughs> the fuck. It's 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 this like I can't remember why I got it. Results film trail. Is it results? Oh, it is. You think you're ready? I liked it. I, I didn't know. I didn't know what sort of film it was going to be. I didn't know what sort of film it was going to be, and it's not really like a comedy. Kevin Corrigan is very underrated. I him. I was like, he's weird. He's a weird actor, and I like him. And he was in. Um, what was he in? Kevin. He was in. Um, is it Kevin Corrigan? Aye. He was in um, Community. And there's a bit in Community that I really like. He's got a kind of... It's funny. Um, that film was called um, Results. And I looked it up and apparently... Um, I don't know, it was, it was a wee bit different, and it's uh, Mumblecore. 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 Mumblecore is a sub-genre of independent film characterised by naturalistic acting and dialogue, sometimes improvised, low-budget film production, and emphasis on dialogue over plot and a focus on the personal relationships of people in their 20s and 30s. Um, in many cases, though, these directors reject the term. So, when you make film or television, it's no longer yours. You give it to the world. Am I right, everybody? So... I don't know why, I don't know what the mumble. I don't know what the mumbles are, but. But I like that Flaming Ninja says genres are shite. Oh, well said, man. Well said. Well said. So if you were to say, I want to watch a horror film, and somebody brought you. Um, like um, Frozen, you'd be like, ah, who cares? Yeah, who cares, man? A fourteen X T H. Thanks for the sub, Alex, Alex, Panda Sushi, Mike. Thanks for subs and bits. Son of Rambo is a classic, right? The passage. Oh shit, if I said that wrong. 
the D E the D. Should that be Rite de Passage? Nostalgic shite, but good. Thank you very much. I've I've never I've, I know about it. They try to make a wee remake of uh, Rambo. Is it Rite de Passage? How do you... Right, let's look that up. Why not just saying Rite of Passage? Rite de Passage. Ah! Another term for Rite of Passage, you fucking wank. You could have just said Rite of Passage, and that's what, mo that's what a lot of people say. It's not like it's fucking deja vu. Or joie de vivre. Like, all oh, right, you just so, so, It's a kind of... That's a sort of loan word, that loan phrase. This here, a lot of people say, write a passage. I, I, it's not like one of these ones, you really only say the French version or the, you know, whatever it is, a Latin. Rite de passage. Um... Son of Rambo is a classic uh, Rite de Passage film. It says Armick. Armick, are you still here? Do you say, if you were saying that, do you say Rite de Passage? Like if you were out in a pub, let's say. Professional streamer. Oh, yes. Read the passage. Um, thank you very much. Hello. Thank you very, very much. Shut have missed it. I'll make, oh. Uh, both and Pomp is good. Uh, uh, I say Rite. This actually comes from Latin. Rite de Passage. It's actually Larin. It's actually Larin. How do you think I'm bloody Wesworth? Hello, Pastor. Right. So the the. I think it's the last date on their 101 date tour across America. He's just, just, he, he is what he is, which is a, a, like a kind of Essex. Essex lad. Sorry, what was it again? Who do you think I'm fucking birds with? Yeah, <laughs> Good evening. It's Ryland. Every... Right, here we go then. Glasgow, who thinks they turn a bits? I say Bill. Dung's Roman because my total arsehole. What is that again? I'm going to play the game. What is, what's Building's Roman? What's that again? Bent neck lady. Thanks for the sub. Now the darts clip. Right, I'll play the darts clip and then I'll... Coming of age. Right, right. Bill. B Bill. Dung, right. Building's Roman. I'm not saying Roman. Bildung's Roman. Bildung's Roman. Bildung's. Bildung's. I'll just say Bildung's. Bildung's Roman. I'm not saying Roman. If it's if it's got R O M A N, it's getting said like Roman, because that's the main one that I know. I know Roman first. And I don't care if this is nothing to do with fucking Rome. You put that in a word. And it's getting said like Roman. Buildings Roman. That's what I'm going to say. Buildings Roman. A novel dealing with one's pers uh, one person's formative years or spiritual education. The book is a Buildings Roman, that Roman of sorts. Um... Yeah. What was that one last thing? Who's what's the darts player? Darts clip. What about darts clip? 
worth a chance, worth a, sh worth a shot. What's his name? The who's in charge, me or the devil, Ted Hankey. How the fuck is he getting away with saying this? Shite frame right here. Now Walter nu op tops, dus zal Henkie dit toch graag wel uitgooien om de wedstrijd. So that was. Oh, is he bad? No libel, please. Walter nu op tops, dus zal Henkie dit toch gaan wel uitgooien om de wedstrijd. De fancy double twelve or double eight. Who's in charge? Me or the devil? I think I'm in charge. Fuck nine, double eight, shake it. He fucked that up. Just fine. Fucked that up. Fucking. Fucked that up. And he does that after fucking that up. Come on, you can't. Fucking. Um, off his nuts. Was he? Does he have a history of anything like that? Or is he simply like that? You know how, you know, you do know. You do know that people are like that. Or is it just the usual? Is it just the usual that people say in this chat? If anybody looks in any way awake or different or interesting or anything, I can tell he's cocked to it, he's not. You can tell he's cocked to it, he's not. How can you tell? Well, uh, he went like that. Come on, you cunt. Kind of talking to darts, talking to himself. You only do that when you've been taking the drug cocaine. Kane Fish, thanks for the sub. Here's another 18 months if you've got that left in you. I've got to fucking live longer than you, dickhead. Was banned now I'm back. Was banned now I'm back. Thanks for three quid. Not laughing. Joke came off wrong last night. Happy to see sub not back. Minecraft stream one day. Big kiss. I've got no fucking idea what you're on about. Not laughing joke came off wrong last night. What was that? What was that? Happy to see sub nut back. Sub nut. What's that? Subnautica, right? Minecraft stream one day. I'll, I'll get I'll get rid um get rid of it. Hardest job in the world is by the way. Hardest job in the world is to read uh, like stuff like that and sort of keep on going. Hardest job in the world. Right here we go. Hardest job in the world. Greg, thanks for the, the, the sub. Thank you very much. See when I come after this, I've got to take coke to, to calm down. Crypto not Nick, thanks for the sub. Just joking, by the way, I'm not, not TOS, just a joke. I mean, I say take coke. I mean, drink Coca-Cola. Now, here we fucking go now. Did you see, let me shout it on his stream the other day. He, he must be off his tits, high off his tits, whacked out and strung out on coke. Here we go. Sometime last week, reaching out to an old friend. Look at this. Next week. That's all I've got. Then the phone vanishes, and so does that earring. 
Really? Well, if you can't manage the whole week, maybe just a day or two. No, it has to be now. They start tearing the farm apart next week. I'm sure. I'm sat right outside it now. I can see the sign. No, I already tried Claire. She's away partying at a festival. Jen's in Hong Kong on business. Was that continuous then? No, you weren't the last. I just thought, you know, with, with the kids and everything. Of course not. Look, oh, I'm sorry, Sally. Forget I asked. <sighs> Jake's gone away. And I just thought we could get the old gang back together. You know, for a bit of fun. Like it's over. Days. Not it's over. Oi, detecting is fun. Look, don't worry about it. I've... I've actually been thinking of asking Adam if he'd help. Yes, that Adam. Don't say it like that. You lot just never understood him. And, well, he's never let me down. Oh, oh, turn it up. Jake isn't here, is he? Besides, Adam's a friend. Nothing else. And despite what you all think, he is good for me. What's the story? This is the story the game just started! I don't need to ask anyone else for help. Trust me. I need Adam. Was that continuous thing? I shouldn't have called. Not at this hour. I ignore me. Speak soon, yeah? Why is that? Continue flying. Like, like, it's me. I'm not, I'm not clicking it. I'm oh, cl look, I know it's been years, but oh. I've got myself into a situation. I don't think I can handle it. Not on my own. That unfinished business at the farm. We need to finish it. Now. Right, Monday, a beautiful day. Right, so. Okay, Adam, can you hear me? Loud and clear. Where are you? What's that fucking Don't continuous thing? Close by. Right. God, you weren't kidding about getting an early start. I was hoping we might have a lazy start to the week. Grab breakfast, mooch around, get reacquainted. But no. There'll be plenty of time to do that while we detect. Good to know these things are still working. Like, I'm not... They are. Mate. Which is a surprise considering how cheap and nasty they look. Oi! These were the coolest toys money could buy in 2005. Haven't we grown out of toys? Oh, chill out. They'll do the job. Claire and I once chatted all the way across the valley with him. Grab the shovel and the trowel, then uh -huh. head out to the field. Right. Hurry up! You're missing a beautiful day! Check the legs. No legs! Now, somebody said there, Adam's got the horn. Gonna try to keep that part to a bit of a minimal. Minimum. Minimal. Newman, thanks for the sub. Hersley, thank you very much for the subs. Prud says swung. I'm not fucking Prud. I'll fucking show you a Prud. Um Right, right, let's see. Had his bath picks proof otherwise yes and my um Boris Johnson sort of uh, thing. Look sensitivity up a wee bit. My Boris Johnson guarantee which I would never Wait, what was that? What was that? What was that? Xbox right. Um, that's it. Okay, okay. Right. 
So, what we know is I've got a farm, or maybe bought a farm, or maybe selling a farm, or maybe it gets sold in a week or something, and I've got a bit of time to get something done, I think. Um, anyway, I'm Adam, and I have been enlisted by my friend, what's her name? What's her name? Beth, right? Today something. That's all you need to know. John Green and Human. Thanks for the subs. Thanks a lot. Thanks again. Right. Collect the shovel. So we don't know what it is. I happen to know it's something to do with a metal detector because, because of the kind of trailer of the game. But that's all we know. Right. Collect the shovel. Beautiful. Beautiful. Right. It's just funny that... Um, when the words are coming up on the screen and it says, oh, click to continue. But you've got, like, some of the voice lines last a second. And you just see this, click to continue. Click to get, like that. You know, it's, weird, it's weird. But it's not the end of the day. Trouble. Open the door. Let's go. Could be an accessibility option. Uh, what are you doing? Head bob. Font size. Get a bigger. Bigger. No, in fact, medium's alright. Um, head bob a wee bit done. I know a lot of you don't like the head bob. It just, I will actually cut, uh, skip through conversations quicker. The thing is, though, that the, 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 I suppose maybe if you're doing some sort of replay, and you're just like, I know, I know, I know. Click, 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 click. Fuck, 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 fuck. But it'd be good if they just went like that. Look, see, you can, you can click to skip. I'm not going to tell you again. So it's not like this fucking continue popping up every two seconds. Bloblets, thanks for the sub. <sighs> Isn't it amazing up here? Oh. It's incredible. It's okay. It's okay, I guess. Just okay. Oh, so you're only here for the company, right? Company? Nah, I'm here for the detecting. Oh, don't worry. There'll be plenty of that. Oh, I'm so glad you're here. Right. Your detector's over by the gatepost. Right by the fields, you'll be scouring first. All right, right. Uh, oh, there, there, right. There we go. Metal detector, everybody. Just switch it on and walk around. As soon as you get close to anything metal, it'll beep like crazy and light up. All right. Uh, I think I get it. That's it. I just walk around swinging this thing about. I fucking... <laughs> yeah, that's it. Nice. You could probably train a monkey to do this. <laughs> I thought it was a... Maybe I just did. A rhino. Are they lying down? Look. Oh, we're going to have fun this week. Oh, too shit. Now, mm -hmm. serious for a second. Too shit. They work in straight lines rather than randomly walking around. It's easier that way. Ah, no. Okay, you're the boss. For once, I'm not the boss. Now, let's see what you can find. Mm -hmm. Right, press E. To turn the detector on and off. Okay, okay. Oh, no, space will continue. <laughs> it kind of make up his mind. Right. This looks thrilling. Shush! Oh! Ah! Aha! Aha! It's underground, so you need to dig it up. Cute to dig. Oh, a 
thruppin' a bit. Take a picture. There you are. My first find, and it's money. Beth says, oh wow, good work. Auto reply. Please send me a photo. Oh, did not send it? Right. You sure about that? You scoured this place as a kid. That's got a story, by the way. Since this isn't just like anywhere, but you insist on staying here and standing. I don't get it. Come standing. on, you know why? That earring, the best thing I ever found. The other one is definitely here, and I want to find it. That earring, you can't be sure the other one's here. <laughs> what? It is. Always has been. Don't care what anyone else says. Last time, it wasn't just a lucky find, you know. You're not going to drop it, are you? This obsession of yours. <laughs> that earring changed my life. Okay, I was only a kid, but it changed everything. Still makes me smile thinking about it. The money seemed like a lottery win back then. And being in the papers, being a centre of attention. You know, like, it was nice. You, we could have done this years ago. Why now? Fucking dickheads. I asked Farmer Hobbs so many times, but he always said no. Maybe he thought he could find the other earring for himself. But not this time. Well, he couldn't really, could he? Not now that he's dead. Just when you were starting to think the day would never come, he goes and dies. Surprised you didn't help him on his way. Oi! No! Oi! Up. And next week they start installing a solar farm. Right. So this is it. The last chance for more fame right. and fortune. It's the last chance to find that earring. I don't care about the money or being in the news again. No, I just want to. Oh, it felt so good last time. I don't think I've ever been as happy. Have you tried ecstasy? Oh, crack on. Just in case the builders arrive early and turf us off. You mean. I'm not supposed to be here. Right. No, relax, Adam. I bet no one even notices you. Oh, thank you. Oh, oh, no one ever notices me. Oh, thank you. Oh, you know I didn't mean that, Adam. All oh, right, I'll let you away at this time. <laughs> Dan Drangleheart, Astrid knows the six of subs. What happened to Rimworld? That I'm so oh, glad you like the improv. I got binned. It just didn't feel like a good streaming game to me. And I looked into the future. Collect your detail. What do you mean collect it? Oh fuck, right. It didn't feel right. Oh fuck, what now? So she found an earring when she was younger or something. And it was worth a lot. And it was here. Maybe an old one. She got in the papers and things like that. This is her last chance to... It was in this field, I think. Or hereabouts. And this is, uh, so she wants to um, find the other earring. I think it's maybe one of a pair or something. So she wants to find it before this is all sold up. It's all made into a solar farm and they've got no chance of getting back onto it. Because it's all going to get dug up, dug up or something. So that's that. Right, what about, the, what about this map then? Oh. Right. Okie dokie. here. Let's go here. Let's go here. Oh. Here we go. Take my shovel. Q. There we are. I mean, doesn't necessarily mean an, uh, two earrings would come as a pair. I mean, if they're just uh, if it was dropped, what the chances of you dropping two fucking earrings? If anything, it's likely to be one. That's what I would say. Well, look. Take a picture like that. Look, take it like that, so it's the, the worst sort of angle. Like, yeah, like. Yeah. 
like that. That's quite hard to rotate. Like that there, so you can't even fucking see what it is. Shit. Come move up. Fuck it, did it. Got, look, there you go. I found something. I found some nails. Not bad. Not bad. Be better than nothing. Let's go in a bit. I wonder how... How... This is my system. That's my system. It's a good system I've got. There we are. Oh, look. Now that's worth something. Did Beth not even reply? Here we go. Just zooming in, right? On you go. On you go. I'll wait. I'll wait until you've zoomed. Oh. Looks like half a sweetheart locket. Not precious. Nah, sorry. Just some cheap metal. And it's broken. Literally a broken heart. Mm. Speaking of broken hearts. Ooh. Um. Um. Did you and Jake split? Wow. Dive right in my. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh. It's just strange seeing you without him. He's gone away with his annoying rugby friends for a few days. That's all. I'll be back soon. Maybe you should text him. Let him know he's missing out on all this fun, right? Why did he say that? And he is missing out. He's got no idea how. Why did he say, why did I, Adam, say because her, I'm assuming boyfriend or whatever, is cut just no heel? So did you uh, split up then? Instead of, um, hey, where's Jake? Is he coming? Click your, that was odd. I love stuff like this, man. I love stuff like this. There we go. I love stuff like this. Let's go here. Yeah, well, they didn't, they didn't think I would fucking find this. The devs are fucking fuming. The devs are fucking fuming, man. They are patching this right now. Live patching. That's a fucking cracker. Rotate it that way. There you go. I found this. It's a, like a ring or something. Go to the end of the field. No. We did it my way. It's a sign. <coughs> right, just investigate just this wee area. Remember your straight lines. Don't forget your straight lines. Thanks for the blessings. Oh! Okay. I think mm -hmm. so. Why? Oh, it's my old one. The battery can be a bit temperamental. Your old one? You mean I've got your car stock? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm so. Beth! Do you, do you want to... Can I um, try using your detector for a while? Mm, see how we get along. I might let you have a go. In a few days. A few scared I might days. more than you if I have some decent kit. <laughs> I like your ambition. Oh. Maybe we'll make a truffle pig of you yet. <laughs> what? The, a, a, a truffle pig? <laughs> oh, blame Dad. He started calling me Truffle Pig because I could sniff treasure through all the mud. Oh, I loved that nickname. It became our gang name too. Me, Claire, Sally, Jen, 
We were the Truffle Pigs. Our detectors too. That's Truffle Pig One you're holding. You named your metal detector Truffle Pig? Oh, no, hold on. I'm beeping. What? Did you find something else? Oh, this false alarm. It was my crazy person detector. <laughs> you calling your detector Truffle Pig? <laughs> Anyway, you already knew I was crazy. I think that's why you agreed to come here. Good stuff. You're to an isolated farm by a crazy woman. And Good only stuff. one of them will leave. Oh. <laughs> I'm sure one of the truffle pig t-shirts Dad had made for us is still in my attic. I should dig it out. Hmm. I hope you're not expecting me to be seen in one of those. Hmm. Mm, no, I think you're safe on that count. <laughs> Fucking exhausting. It must be exhausting. Having to constantly think of wee funny things like that. All the fucking time. Ethereal Beats. Beasts. Thanks to sub. One more month in the grave. Thank you very fucking much. Psycho Fix. Thanks to Turabits. There's a question, mate. What would you say was your biggest kick off in all your time on Twitch? Or, like, raging? Or oh, fuck knows. But tons of fucking... I don't, was I not shouting my heat off just a break couple of weeks ago? No! Must be out of juice. We can recharge it. L let's carry on for a little while. Okay. Let's see how long that thing lasts. Oh, a cherry lad incident was fuck all compared to. Oh, I, I suppose there was that. That was that was that was big. Dan Drango uh, Brownie thinks it's up some bits. Make sure you report any substantial findings to a local coroner or you can expect a stint in prison. Remember, never tell the council. Never tell the council anything that you find and things like that. Better to... Um, what is it again? Seek forgiveness and permission or something when it comes to, it comes to like matters like that, the council and things like that. If you let them know, I'm about to do something that I'm no sure if I'm allowed to be here, am I allowed to be in this field or cut this fucking tree down or dig that thing up or get rid of this thing that's there or do that, am I allowed to do that? They'll just say, no. And that's it. And you have to put up with it. But see if you just go ahead and do it, they cunt's going to notice. They cunt's going to care. Do you know what I mean? BT Evans, thanks for the sub. El Grande Johnny, thanks for the sub. Glasgow Council here. Oh, how? It was fucking, it was that. The bottom was like that. No deal. Okay, looks like my battery finally died. Right, let's break for lunch. See what the car. Last one back smells. <laughs> Imagine I thought it was funny to <laughs> hold my walkie-talkie to my ass and go... This car is going to be so... What? I was just having a laugh. And try not to get crumbs everywhere. Hey, do you want to swap walkie-talkies and all then? <laughs> uh-huh. So, how was your first morning of detecting? Uh, not bad. Not bad? How long until one of us strikes gold? Well, it's been 14 years in counting for me. <laughs> this is going to pay less than... What do you mean, way. more dialogue, yay? Wait and see. I love this. Surprised. I'm looking just to fucking go metal detect. Are we going to pretend nothing's happened? What? What? <laughs> it's been so long and you're just pretending we've never been apart. That nothing's wrong. What? What's this? What's this? Um, okay. Well, how's life been? since we last saw one another. Shouldn't I be asking you questions? Like, why am I even here? Oh. And how come you're not at work? Your job always seemed to come before everything else. You were obsessed with it. Ooh. I was. I, I am. But... But... Mm -hmm. I've been working like crazy lately. I thought I'd see how Mudderlot survives without me. If you insist. Fox Mudderlot. What? Mudderlot. It's such a silly name. <laughs> Mom asked me what I liked, and it's I said, a lot. Her business I like or something, or but a lot. <laughs> oh, I wish she was still here to see what she created. Her little outdoor equipment company is an empire now. We're the biggest employer in oh. the valley, you know. 
Right. Something would die on its ass without mud a lot. And when Dad retires, it's going to become your empire? Yep. Well, that'll probably put me in charge. I mean, I'm the eldest. Arguably the smartest. The most modest Mudderlot sister. Right, what's this quant or boot, man? Absolutely. Definitely the best at tree climbing. <laughs> you remembered. This oh, guy's... All of those things. Perfect CEO material. It must be mine, right? What if you're wrong? This guy's dodgy. What if you're wrong? This guy's dodgy. <laughs> I've been there longer than Lucy. It wouldn't make sense not to. And your dad agrees? Okay, dad hasn't said out loud, but it's always been the plan that I take over. So did we just end up with zoom out and you like know, kind of tracking it? Like, thought fuck you right back. Had plans once. Oh. <gasps> we were a team. Till you ditched me. Forgot all about me. This can't say fucking not murder. fair, Adam. Or true. I never forgot about you. I never wanted you to go. I... I had to. Well, I'm here now. But you still haven't said why. Are we ever going to discuss it? Why I'm really... Run! We're here to find that earring. Not sit here eating sandwiches and jaffa. Run! We should be fully charged again now. Come on, back to it. No, 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 no. Beth, what you need to do, what you need to do, Beth, is you need to say, actually, actually, change a plan. This lunch is horrible. It'd be good to get some extra food and stuff uh, for the morrow. Let's go into town. Uh, let's drive into town and uh, and just need to get some food and things like that. Then when you get there, go. Oh, no, I'm here. I can't be bored going back. Christ. Why don't we leave it? Well, I'll, I'll get I'll get in touch. I might. Do you know what? I, this is a stupid idea. Um, I'll get into. I'm going to get. I'm getting in touch. I, I'm going to. I need to think about this. You're right. Why? I don't know what I'm doing. My my life. I'm going to get in touch. Um, we. Uh, I'll see you later. Um, what's his name again? Alex was it? Adam. I can't remember his name. Adam. Adam. I, I'm going to. Um, I'll get in touch with you, um about this. Oh yes, like you said, you were going to get in touch. All right. You what? I mean, it's needed to be like that, Adam. You know what? I think his friendship's over. Get him to fuck. Oh, Beth. Always a clever one. Hmm. Just ran away. He's a fucking... What always interests me with, with games like this is when they have something like this and you're wondering, is he meant to be an arsehole? Or, like, are the devs like that? No, we're on Adam's side. What? Well, she... She she sort of, like, ditched him as a pal, and who does she think she is? Like, no, I'm going to run the company. <sighs> Parry, thanks for the sub. Thank you very much, your fucking prime sub. Dogs and Slice Wise, thanks for the sub. This is what we get when Tories are the only ones who can afford to be making art. McGov, Palpatine Dreams, thanks to subs. Big shout out to your cat, Daisy. I don't think her and Bobby would get on. Really? Right, let's check this cunt out. This is, bro, I love, I love stuff like this, man. I love stuff like this. I love to hate them. Right, let's go here. Oh. Right, don't fuck it up. A bit there. Nothing. I can, I think this covers a wider, a much wider area than I think. 
Why did I keep lifting? Because look, there's me no lifting. Now, I just happened to be finding something, but there's me no lifting. Now, I don't really need to... I only need to sort of be at certain spots. There's something there. Right. Do you know what I mean? It's got a certain radius. And there's no point in me walking at fucking half a mile an hour. When I could just sort of pick up, drop it. Oh, look. There you go. Let's get, a, let's get a really good picture of this. That's good. Can't some toy cars fetch a decent price? So we're playing an absolute dickhead, yeah, guy. Nice find. Sadly, they're only valuable if they're pristine and boxed. A bit Fancy like me then. Car would help too. But you're definitely getting the hang of this. Speaking of fancy cars, oh my I know God. That yours is a bit flash. Uh, overkill? <laughs> you only live five minutes walk from <laughs> Did you really need something so expensive? <laughs> if I ever want to head off, go explore. Mock. It's fun to drive. Mock. Really? When was the last time you did that? Mock. Put hey, down. I work like crazy. I'm allowed to treat myself. I worked hard for that car. Treat yourself is a box that you only use to drag yourself from home to work. Oh, fuck off, Adam. One day I will go on a road trip. You can come too. But I might make I rate. Me. Fine by me. Anyway, I like buses. Being with other people, watching the world go by. Yeah? And what about the weirdo you always get on buses? Chatting away to themselves? Oh, wait! You are the weirdo! Oh, you think I'm the weirdo? Don't fucking play with him! Look, there's, see, there's nothing better. See, see if, maybe no somebody like that. Somebody like that, or not even as bad as that. You might think to yourself, I'd feel bad about just getting fucking rid of this. This fucking person, like somebody, like, imagine that like, fucking somebody's fucking his fucking fucking put down's dickhead like that. See if you see if you cut them out of your fucking life. You may be think, I know, but how will they react? Who gives a fuck? As long as they're no like fucking dangerous or something like that. Who gives a fuck? What what's what's going to happen? Are they going to fall out with you and never speak to you again? Fucking good. The best thing she could do right now is like once once she gets into the fucking tune is nice and safe is to go like that. Uh, I don't want to be pugsy anymore. I don't want, I don't want to be pugsy anymore. But then again, not to get all serious. I'm not a woman, and these sorts of fucking guys um, can't take getting told to fuck off. If I told him, if I was his pal and I went like that, you're a fucking asshole, really. You're an absolute fucking arsehole. Don't speak to me again. He would fuck off and never look back. He's not going to be like outside my fucking door in a motor day after day. Why would you not speak to me? Anyway. Let's keep it light. Just a game. Let's keep it light. Come on. Right. Here we go. Collect your detector. Shit, it's back there. Here we go. This guy's a fucking piece of work, isn't he? Oh, yep. Okay, okay. He's a fucking piece of work. I love games like this. I really do. Hmm. How much did your shoes cost? They look very expensive. <laughs> Why do you need such good shoes? No one cares. I suppose not. <laughs> no, I suppose not. <laughs> I don't know. I just thought I'd get myself something nice. There you go. Nice picture. Oh, look. From a picnic or from a junkie? From a junkie? <laughs> Why not both? Junkies might love picnics too. Ah. Oh. Here we go.
Do you think a Ned has been here having a picnic? A picnic? Do you think a Ned family has been having a picnic here? I think I'm doing this the right way. Yeah. Because I've always need to got picking it up and putting it down. Cringing my jaw off watching this says Underworld Jamie. Oh, no, that's good. A tent thing. Good picture. Looks like a tent peg to me? Question mark. Well, does it? Are you asking me what it looks like to you? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, looks like it. It's years since I've been camping. But you, at one point, it seemed like you lived in a tent. Do you <laughs> want to go camping? When I was a kid. I'm just so busy now. Can't remember the last time. You'd have time for your well, friends. I should. Just jump in the car and find somewhere nice to pitch up. With Jake. It'd be cosy. Just the two of you. Far away from work and the stress. I guess I've just got into the habit of working. Like, all the time. Weekends are... Well, they're not really weekends. But it's all part of growing up. Being an adult, I guess. Says who? The Beth I used to know would take being in a field over being sat at a desk any day. Yeah? That Beth used to like banana sandwiches or the smell of bonfires on her clothes. That's right. <laughs> Face it. Yes. We've moved on. We've moved on, Adam. Quite a detector. Hope he fucking gets electrocuted with this fucking thing, man. Hope he finds a fucking IED and it blows his fucking legs off. Neil, thanks for the sub. Young Tobias, thanks for the ton of bits. Adam comes across a bit of incel, yes. Dogs and slice wise. Uh, thanks again, thanks for the subs. Hope some wee fucking bastard has planted an IED. Specifically. For this reason. Adam's arms blown right fucking off and part of his face. A door knob, I'm not even sure what to say anymore. Beth says when it comes to knobs, it's probably better that you don't say anything. Haha, <laughs> we smiley face. Don't, don't, don't. Don't be fucking this cunt, don't. Oh, so, so you're allowed to say knob? Make a knob joke, but I can't say that? Oh, double standards, I think, me thinks, Beth. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Um, I'm the wrong one here. Yes, you are. Right, here we go. Here we go. Get this guy jailed. Get him fucking killed. I hope some wee guys go by and go, let's jump in and kill that cunt. Just a rusty old head clip. Looks like you could have dropped it last time you were here. It's funny. <laughs> I don't have an old head clip, you. Don't talk about fucking couple of fucking moment of passion, this cunt. Yeah, you have got a strange idea of romance, Beth. <laughs> and speaking of hair, I almost didn't recognise you this morning. Were you expecting me to still have those ponytails? Actually, I've just had it restyled. What do you think? Uh, yeah, I guess. Yeah, I like it. I mean, I'm no expert. When's the last time he saw her? Thanks. I was getting a bit bored with old me, so I just had it caught on a whim. Old you? I just felt like I needed to, I don't know, become something else. Yeah, I'm not sure a new haircut can do that, but... Oh, fuck off, you! Great. Not sure. Now too. You yes. Exactly how I imagined you don't say that. I say you've aged quite a bit. Go and find me something. Ideally, something more exciting than a hair clip. 
I fucking love this, man. I love this. Connor, uh, thanks for the sub. Fucking hell, man. So, so pony, uh, pigtails or ponytails? You could be any age and have pigtails or ponytails, whatever it was she said. But they're suggesting she was, like, quite young. Like, maybe, let's say, 10. Let's say 10. So he's probably... This is probably, like, fucking 20 years on, maybe. And he's gone on about, oh, you left me? They left me. The the brother and sister, are they? No, they're no, they're no. I, I don't think so. But who knows who these fucking games, man. Oh. It's on the surface. A key? Right, Beth is going to say, might be for one of the gates, don't know why so many are locked. I thought you'd locked them to keep me from wandering off. I thought he was going to say it. It's a bit like how you locked me out of your life. You still haven't explained what I did wrong. Chat call for Rimworld? Not a fucking no. Did standing have a big punk rock scene? Not sure if you're joking or not. <sighs> Fuck it. Oh, here we go. It's a nappy bin. For keeping nappies in place. Before all these disposable, elasticated nappies, they used to pin them. Who changed a nappy in a field? The farmer and his wife? Mrs. Hobbs. Oh, remember when she vanished? Too. Oh. I remember all the mums gossiping about it. Oh. After that, Farmer Hobbs more or less lived like a recluse. Oh. Where did she go? No one knows. I mean, there were rumours. Oh. The school swirled with theories. A woman and her kids vanish, and we're just brushing it off as rumours and gossip. Like you, yeah, fuck your dick. <laughs> oh, we were kids with overactive imaginations. It was probably just your regular right. run of the mill. Breakups happen all the time, but <laughs> people love to gossip and speculate. Here we go. What was that? Enduring love moment coming up. Right, oh, I. Up for the day. Uh, let's oh, carry on. Can we detect just a bit longer? The weather's so great. It would be a shame not to. Have you seen that film? I suppose so. For a short while, at least. And you seen the film Enduring Love with Daniel Craig and... Um, what's his name? Reese. What's his name? Welsh guy. Reese... Uh, Reese... Iffens, is it? Iffens, Iffens. How do you say his name? It's very true to the book, was it? I think it's like one of the first films I saw Daniel Craig in. I'm hoping it fucking is him. A bicycle pedal. I didn't really know what was... Uh, it's, a, it's a film about kind of like obsession and things like that. Oh shit, I missed that. We've covered a lot of ground today. Well done. Oh, I've loved having you here. Can't hang around though. Got to check out a venue for the wedding reception. The oh, wedding. oh! I thought what, you asking me back here, Jake being away. Is it still going what? ahead? What? <sighs> yeah, of course. Why wouldn't it? Jake's never been around when it comes to wedding stuff, has he? Doesn't mean anything. But and you know what I'm like. Can't wait for him to make his mind up. And wedding you... planning really isn't his thing. But you got in touch. Still can't me. believe you're getting married. Like I said, I'm getting on with life. Nothing and no one is going to stop me. Come on, I'll meet you back at the car. How fucking hard, dick kid. But you... But you got in touch with me and I'm a man. But... Uh, well, you've got to make up your mind here. I mean...
So why did you get... Morning! Different fields today. We'll try somewhere new each day. Cover as much ground as possible. This doesn't make it's sense. It's down to luck anyway. Right. Luck? No, it's all about planning and hard work. And will I see a bit more of you today? <laughs> Don't worry, I'll be close by. And we'll be talking a lot. Oh, this and guy's... keep an eye out for a bangle. This guy's something, isn't he? Mrs. Havers from the post office collared me, asking what I was up to. Turns out she lost a bangle here years ago. Is there a reward? Don't know. She got a bit teary-eyed talking about it. Her husband bought her it. Anyway, I doubt we'll... Well, if it's not a reward, what's the point? Happy hunting. Speak soon. Obviously, she didn't care about it that much if she lets it get lost, so, you know, what am I supposed to do, you know? Young Tobias thinks it's on a bits. Reckon the devs think Adam is a charming Hugh Grant type? Possibly. Who knows? I don't want... Uh, if there any devs in the chat, no. Um, Mitch thinks it's on a bits. If Adam gets the girl at the end of this game, I've lost all hope in humanity. He probably fucking does. Probably look at fucking Steam comments. It's probably, oh, really romantic, lovely, lovely ending. Lovely ending to it. Adamification thinks it's on a bits. That bike pedal you dug up isn't just a bike pedal, it's an Anglo-Saxon bike pedal. I, d I read that as um, m &S, kind of m &S advert. Fremulon, thanks for the sub. Right, look, we've got, we've got a... We've got a... We've got a system here. They don't think I'm going to go up this way, but, um... Dev say, first person romantic metal detecting game you play as Adam, a sharp-witted but compassionate man. What? A sharp-witted but compassionate incel. There you go, Cowbell. Have you seen that Saturday Night Live sketch? But, um, the cowbell, more cowbell. I haven't, you must send me it. The bells, the bells. You know how we're all dead familiar with um, oh, uh, Quasimodo? I don't, I don't, well, not really the bad. arrive and start doing their cattle mutilation thing. You remember that? Oh, yeah, that mashed up cow. I'm sure it had been hit by a truck, but everyone swore UFOs had arrived in Stanning. Wasn't that photo of the UFO taken around here? It might have even been here on this farm. Aliens? <laughs> As if intelligent life forms would come halfway across the galaxy and pick Stanning. Funny, you'd think there'd be even more UFO photos now that everyone has a camera on them at all times. But no. Uh, I want to believe. Maybe they're here, but brainwashing us. Using their psychic power so they can walk among us completely undetected. Mm, one of us could be an alien. Or maybe both of us. That would explain a lot. <laughs> Among us. Strangest things would materialize in Stanning. Nah, I think you're still the strangest, Beth. Maybe I'll mention it in my report to the Supreme Being. What's particularly hideous? Oh, did it say Among Us and said that? What was that? Um, what's particularly hideous is that it goes between him being dodgy as fuck. And then just sort of like, oh, he's kind of just a wee bit sort of charming. And you're like, wait a minute, I'm no really actually supposed to like this guy, am I? You know, that's what's kind of hideous about it. It's like, oh, like, you're like, are you, try are you telling me I have to like him? It's almost more horrific than like a horror, kind of psychological. That feeling you get when, wait a minute, 
I'm supposed to like this fucking guy. Oh, wait. You know that wee feeling you get? That kind of feeling you, you might get if you're trying to wait a taxi driver and you're getting on, everything's all right, and then he goes and says something dodgy. Or it, it's the beginnings of the dodgy part. Of, the beginnings. And you're like, Bingo. right, here we go. Oh, rusty screw. No, no. He's no easy. Maybe it's not just a screw. Think about the stories it could tell if it could talk. It could have mm -hmm. been in that farmhouse for years, watching generation after generation growing up. I can't, it's not got any eyes. <laughs> if you get this excited about a screw, you're going to lose your mind when we find some actual gold. I guess it depends on how you measure value. Screws don't have eyes. But a worthless screw isn't going to change our lives now, is it? If we find that earring, you'll get it. You'll understand why I had to come back here. It just, just, it just doesn't get it, don't you know? I love stuff like this. I'd love to play another one and another one. Oh, what was that? Yep. Yeah. Hi there. Right. Take my shovel. Are you sure about this wedding? And the award for the weirdest merch goes to. The seventies were awash with crappy badges. I've. Is that it? I get three fucking seconds. Two seconds. Can I pick up the phone again? That didn't, that just, that, that made that go away. That wasn't me. Oh, look. I dug, a, dug out an old photo of the earring I found. Another 500 pounds could be all ours. Oh, very nice. That might not sound much, but when you're 13, that's like winning a million. Shiny. I bet if we find the other, it'll be one big crusty mess. Maybe. But this one was almost pristine when I found it, so keep your eyes peeled. We could find it at any moment. Send the same 40 back, says Fuzzy Mint. Good idea. Isn't that the same picture? Um, no, I think I would know if it was the same picture. It just looks exactly the same. No, I think you're wrong there. Right. Bit strange saying that, Beth. Um. Here we are. This guy's a bastard, isn't he? Photo quote was a bit too good. I it was um, but it was a picture taken long ago in the past, so it's not like it was taken with that phone. I don't think. Fuck you, go. I once found one of those on the roof of my car. What a horseshoe! You didn't run one over or something, did you? As if. No. Witchcraft. Witchcraft. Outdoor Monthly found me. I'd won the Rising Star of the Year award. If I some... cried when they told me. Dad came running in with some chilled champagne. Of course, he already knew. How did he know? He was confident you'd win. Now, how did he know? How? Oh, he was chummy with the commercial team at the mag. We'd bought loads of ad space off him. They tipped him off. Lucy wasn't impressed. But, you know, when she won it the year after, I acted happy for her, like a good sister. She'd been so blasé when I won, she just couldn't bring herself to celebrate. Didn't want to look like a hypocrite. Anyway, we went to the pub to celebrate. You're a hypocrite, I Beth. Car from you the left me. The next morning, and there it was. A horseshoe on my car roof. 
crazy, right? That's that's witchcraft. You never figured out how it got there. No, I've still got it. I keep it right next to the award. They're a pair. Bit of an odd pair. A shiny award and an old horseshoe. That's witchcraft. Symbolic. I wouldn't have won that award if I hadn't worked like a horse. <laughs> And speaking of hard work, time to pull your finger out and find some treasure. That's witchcraft. Oi, I'm sure I've found way more things than you. Uh, you need to up your game, Beth. Threadbeard, thanks for the sub. Sod, you've just been lucky. That's witchcraft. If somebody leaves a horseshoe on the top of your motor, or back then it was the top of your, um, your cart, you had one week. One week to live. One week. The only way you could prevent it is if you put another horseshoe on somebody else's motor. But it's got to be bigger than the one that got put on yours. So eventually, the horseshoes get bigger and bigger and bigger. That 30th is creeping closer by the day. Oh, there's no 30 yet, right? No 30 yet. So 20s... Possibly... 15 years ago is the last time they saw each other, maybe. She sounded like she was right fucking there. What is she? You okay? Yeah, why wouldn't I? What is she? That scream? Oh, it was a primal scream. Lucy just called from the office. Oh, she's shit stirring. Trying to make a mountain out of a molehill. Trying to win dad over while I'm not around. You sounded pretty angry. I am. I'm livid. She's accusing me of messing up an order. I do them every day. I could do them with my eyes shut. She does that. When I'm not there, plays up to Dan, tries mm -hmm. to make me look bad. I sense some sibling rivalry. No! Well, not from me. It's her. Mum wouldn't fall for it as easily as Dad does. They're all. Look, you're not supposed to be working this week. Switch your phone off for a while. Oh, I can't. You know I can't. I told her to double check. That should be the end of it, but... Nobody has conversations like this. You can. You just won't. It's, uh... These are horrible people. So, oh, here, here we go again. Hey, do you want to take a break now? Or see if your detector will last out a bit longer? Be a bit longer, please. Be a bit longer. I'm happy to carry on. Cool. Let's hope your battery is too. I mean, maybe. Is the game allowing me? Is it? Is this just like for mine? Does it do that? Have I found all the stuff? Do you think? What's that fucking horseshoe thing all about? Right, what we've got? Chat is going full Adam. Chat is toxic at the moment. What's going on? What are people saying? Chat is fucking fine, says valid. Rancid chat says somebody else. Ban chat. Oh, look. Oh, that's fine. A knuckle duster. What the hell have they been up to in these fields? Right, pick that up. Have I right? Right. Right. 
much time, I insist. There we go. Time for the toxic conversation. What's the fucking Want to talk about it? How did they get the motor down there? Thing with Lucy? Nah, it'll blow over. I'm more interested in you. It's... After all these years, I wasn't sure I'd be able to persuade you to come back. What? What's that? I could hardly refuse, could I? Given the situation. I didn't think we were in one of those situations. Maybe. Really? Just... So, why did you reach out? Shh. Maybe I panicked. Maybe I wanted a safety net. I don't know. I just... Maybe I didn't need you. Was this a surplus to requirements already? <laughs> We've been there before. Perhaps I should just go now. No. Not yet. Just... Let's hang out. Fucking safe. I feel safer with you around. Safer? No one else does, though. They're petrified whenever you mention my name. They just... They don't know you. What you did for me. Back then, you helped me to be happy again. You were a kid back then. You're not anymore. Shut up. Louder! No, I know. It'd be easier if I was. Maybe it's fate that brought us back together. Fate? You don't believe it's fate. You literally plan everything. Trust me, I didn't plan this. You know, I used to daydream about you. I always imagined you becoming an astronaut or something like that. Years of demanding physical training, then strap yourself to a giant tank of fuel and ignite it. And if nothing goes wrong, you get to ship without gravity, which might sound like fun, but it's probably hellish. <laughs> you knew how to make me laugh. I've never found anyone that makes me giggle the way you do. Jake doesn't. Oh. He did first. It feels like a long time since we just laughed. You know, properly laughed. The kind where you just can't stop. What changed? I don't know. Is it him? Is it me? That's... I used to be fun. I used to be funny. You are funny, Beth. N not just weird funny. Funny funny. This is toxic. Maybe you're this is a toxic relationship stroke friendship stopped being fun always working neglecting everything everyone else do you think you're scrambling for an answer again sometimes you just have to accept that there isn't one what's up there I just need everything to hurry up and happen becoming the boss at Muddalot getting married then I won't be so rushed. I'll have time for friends and hobbies. I'll be happy again then. Have you ever thought it might not just be an earring you need to look for? The earring! I shouldn't waste this week daydreaming. Come on, let's find that damn earring. It's weird. Again, when I see things like this, it makes me wonder about the writer. It doesn't make me wonder about the characters. I'm like... I thought... I mean, this is kind of widely accepted as being, like, uh, an asshole. This guy... He's got these wee put-downs. Like, putting her down. Ugh, you say that, you've, you've never done that. I mean, he's not absolutely like that. I right. You'd never be able to do something like that. I dream on. You? You think you could do that? He's no pure like that, but he's like... It's like sort of like fucking... Pecking away. Hey, where's the fucking map? He's got that right pecking away way. And um, But they're making out like, ah, oh, now he's brand new. Because he's alright, like... Like for three minutes he's an arsehole. For one minute, isn't he? Oh, wait. Elton Jonathan. See you in the beer, thanks to subs. Happy one year, thank you very fucking much. Ollie thinks to the bits. Why is she talking like a news anchor? Artificial way of talking. It's just kind of actory, maybe. Might not be her actual accent. 
how come they have got kind of different accents if they came for the same sort of bit? Anyway. I can't spot any silver hallmarks. But, uh, Beth says, more junk for the jar. The writing is bad and the voice acting is poor. I still got it, my junk jar. Full of all the crap I used to find. Rusty nails, screws, bottle tops. All in that great big fiddling jar. It's still in Dad's garage. Remember how I'd carefully clean each piece like it was gold. Then do a little drawing. Didn't know what half of it was. But I knew it was worthless junk. But I became obsessed with collecting it. That summer, I'd be out with my detector whenever I could. I really wanted to fill it. But you never did. Well, a more important but you never did. came along. One day, Lucy found a ring. It was rubbish, costume jewelry. Never did. But I was gutted. She didn't even like detecting. Me and Dad, we detected all summer. Lucy tagged along once. It was the sheer luck of it. Wait, so she hates her sister. And after that, you forgot about your junk jar. You just wanted to beat Lucy. Find something better than her ring. And I did. Is it fucking Hannibal Lecter or something? I found that earring. All the detecting, all that hard work finally paid off. But that wasn't good enough for, for Beth. That wasn't good enough for you, was it? The next weekend. Wow. And their faces. <laughs> they were speechless. They've been nagging me every two minutes. Found anything yet? And what was it? You nagging them? Right on cue. What were the odds on that happening? What were the odds on that exactly. happening, Betha? You were all shocked. They've been teasing Tell me, me are you sure this happened? It felt kind of magical. Like an uncle pulling a coin from your ear. Um, I suppose. Anyway, none of us realised what it was at first. My teacher spotted it was actually gold. So he just did that there then? Kind of famous. Sold the earring, bought trouble pick mark too. And while you were lapping up all of that attention, we... So the earring was a plant? He's saying... I didn't know that would happen. But oh. we're back now. Here. So while she was lapping up the attention, she, she bent him. What was that a cow? Here, in these fields. So, are they suggesting? What was that noise? Just to go. <laughs> Barbo thinks the sub. Leo Crawford thanks for the sub. Edinburgh's nice boy thinks the turn of bits. I'm deeply upset by this, but also loving it so much. Oh, I same here. I fucking love stuff like this, man. I love stuff like this. I, I like. Stuff that's good and all the rest. I also like stuff that... I mean, I'm liking it. I love stuff that's like... What? What? So, she, when she was younger, metal detecting, found an earring that was worth 500 quid, got in the papers and all that sort of stuff. She said before that, her sister actually, like found something. It was just luck and she, she was kind of jealousy and all the rest of it. And then, and then she found that earring. Is he me? Am I suggesting to her? Oh. Look, well, it was put there. Like, on, I think it was a cow. I think it same was a cow or something. So basically, she, he, I am suggesting to her it was your fucking da. Or he was friendly with the, the guys at the local paper. I right enough. Right enough. So he's. Just taking us, he's just taking us away then. He's just taking us away. Try vertigo. Okay, so is, is it, I, that's the kind of one it's inspired by Hitchcock stuff, but it's no, inspired by vertigo, but it's no really. Her life is a lie. Oh. Adam is going to love taking us off her. Everything is a lie. He's gonna relish that one. Your life and everything you've been hoping for and everything you've based your dreams upon and everything you is a lie. 
How does it feel? Say it louder, Beth. How do you feel about your father lying to you? I hate him. Louder. I hate him. Keep that. Yes. Yes. Now keep that feeling. I'll strike him down. Is it that deed? Well, look. Oh, pick up my thingy. Right. Let's go here. I found something. Brian, blessed. Right, another one of these. I don't want to speak. I don't want to speak. All right, here we go then. Oh, 1970s by the look of it. Thought so. Beer? Oh, probably. Now, shall we grab a beer? Oh, here we when go. When we wrap up here? Oh, yeah. maybe. Uh, how will it look if Jake calls and I'm out drinking? Screw Jake. Forget about Jake, he's not here. He won't. And I'm not sure you really want him to. What? A few nights away. He might change. It could have just been, you know, wedding jitters. You haven't told anyone, have you? About you and Jake? No. Why should I? He never said it was over. Not really. He never actually said it. Have you stopped to think you might be better off without him? <laughs> Besides, pretending nothing's happened won't help. Carrying on with your wedding plans won't help either. All right, so he's fucked off. Not cancelling. Not yet. This Jake cunt's fucked off. Things might still change. We were good together. It wasn't always like... I didn't, I didn't catch that. Months. I didn't catch that. Look, let's have a quiet drink. Nothing crazy. No one else. Let's try and figure out what's really going on. Okay. A drink. But at my place. You know how this village gossips. It might look weird if I'm out drinking no. Jake. No. No. Weird. We spend all day in a field waving these sticks at the ground. I think we're already well past weird. And we should get back to waving them around too. There's still an earring to find. That's always your answer. Making yourself so busy that you don't have time to think about anything else. <laughs> yeah, or at least it was, until you turned up. <sighs> back to detecting. No arguments. Um, click the detector, is it? Uh, hey, come on, let's, let's, let's have a drink and, and really just figure this out. Just get to the bottom of this, you know, just try and work this out. But why don't we just, like, I don't know, sit in the motor, in the tune, and, uh, uh, you know, uh, and, and just talk about it there? No, we'll have a drink back of yours and we'll really try and figure this out. In fact, it wasn't him that suggested that gone back. What a fucking disaster. Space Hopper thinks the sub. Royal Rainbow Woe. Thanks for turning bits. Adam is worse than 0% 5 dates run. Oh, aye. Yes. He, he is. Not Brain thinks the sub. The game is resonating with me, to be fair. Adam is a very relatable protagonist. That's a borderline ban there. Borderline. The fire thinks it's in a bit. When are they going to find a dead body and solve a fucking murder? It looks like there was a, a hint. Oh, wait. This could be it. Relieve Cobra. And Jess thinks the subs in three quid. What, how come dogs go so crazy when the doorbell rings? It's almost never for them. Very, very good stuff there. And that's coming in for coffee, everybody. That one's coming in for coffee. A card key? Hmm. Could belong to someone who maybe had a car. Does that say car? 
I think it's an old car key. You know how it says car on it? And it's, it looks old. And it's a key. Rat Chaz, thanks for the sub. Or Rat has. Rat Chaz, thank you very much. Cut your detector. Don't exclamation mark me, please. I'll get it, but I'm ready to get it. Don't rush me. Let me see the map. Oh, here we go. We've got to talk again. Change of plan. No drinks tonight. Just had a call. I really need to get to the... Ah, ha, ha, ha. Big problem. Ah, ha. Without you, you've got other things to worry about. No, no. Trust me, it's the last place I want to be. Lucy was right. I fucked up. Like, really ah. Got to go. I ordered 15,000 water bottles. It should have been 1,500. Oh, dear. Lucy and Dad have told me to stay away. It feels like they're trying to push me out. Maybe they just want you to enjoy your time off. Leave them to it. They can return them, can't they? They're branded with Modelot. 15,000. That's more than we've sold in the past seven years. Oh, I look like such an idiot. Listen, everyone makes mistakes. Everyone else does, not me. I'm the one that spots them and saves the day. Oh, Lucy's going to love this. See me screw up just as Dad's about to retire. This is all poison. You had an off day. This is all poison. The whole lot is poison. Off day. Oh yeah. I'm letting things slip. Little mistakes. Nothing's ever perfect anymore. And it feels like I've been waiting for someone to. Run I want to see the, the bomb drop right now. You've got a lot resting on your shoulders. The bomb. They know that. They don't. It's been relentless. Want me to come to the office? Offer some support? No, definitely not. If they find out you're here, that's it. I'm screwed. We've got to leave. Now, I can come back to your office if you want. Fuck off. But, but, I guess she's no... Right, let's go. Let's go here. Click it. Oh, dear. Detector is... Oh shit! Oh right, that's right, she's got to, that's right, got to go. Fuck right. The police have taken an interest. The police have taken an interest, it said in the bottom right. Morning. How did it go at the office? Get sorted. Oh, that. Can we just have some fun today? I don't really want to think about work. Oh, Jake. Hey, guess what? The police have taken an interest in what we're doing. I bumped into Sergeant Marler. He was asking lots of questions. Uh huh. He spotted me the other day. The missing. I think he was making sure I was okay out here by myself. The missing Martin and Wayne. But you're not by yourself. Oh, I'm fairly sure we didn't see you. And. He asked if I'd found anything interesting. Such as. Who knows? Maybe he's hoping we'll find something to do with the Stanning Slayer. The Stanning Slayer. That was years ago. One of the farmers over in Beckwith, wasn't it? Had his throat slit. There you are. Oh, found him propped up in his field. Like a scarecrow. There you are. Made the national news. They made out like it was the work of a serial killer, but it was a one-off. They never caught anyone, did they? There you are. Dunno. They questioned all the farmers. Searched every farmyard. Are we sure it was a farmer? Oh, it's given me an urge to start a band called Stanning Slayer. You in? It's no funny. <laughs> Definitely. As long as I get to play drums. And you? What's your role going to be? Uh, vocals. I'll be the singer then. Um, no. I'm not sure the world is ready to hear you sing just yet. Oh, Beth, I have got a great voice. Banter. <laughs> Loving the sound of your own voice and being a singer are not the same thing. So they're both having a go at each other, both I'm put each other down. <laughs> Enough goofing around. Except his has got a kind of a slightly evening. controlling no no so much a jokey way to it. You're always doing that. You know, it's that when are you gonna stop this, Beth? Let's go that whole way. Oh, oh look! Whoa! Nah, mountain rescue. 
Of course. Regular as buses at this time of year. Guess someone's come unstuck. Oh, it'll be some dickhead. Gone hiking, completely unprepared. Then, surprise, surprise, they need rescuing. I'd be mortified if it was me, being caught out. It's tragic, really. Nice to know there's somebody there to help, though. Hmm. All because some moron heads out without a plan. Hmm. Maybe they had a plan. Maybe they just stood on a loose rock, hmm. snapped their ankle. Come on. I bet every rescue is the result of someone's hmm. bad judgment or clumsiness. It's not that hard to trip up. Hmm. People do it all the time. It could be one of us one day. Hmm. Hmm. Does she exist? Name to get name to tell me if anybody knows. Does she exist? Am I walking about in this field by myself and there's nobody anywhere? Am I bitter about something in the past? Am I f imagining all this? I don't think so. Maybe. Wanted by your alive. Zeus Juice. Thanks for the subs. Hmm. Hmm. You know, the polar cell looking down. Does Adam exist? Well, that'd be a fucking funny one because the, the voice is coming for me. Oh, look. Bad jewelry. Let's talk. Nice find. Pretty sure it's costume jewelry, but I'll double check later. So, what's the score? I told you. I don't want to talk about Jake or. Work. No, this, this. Totally. No, I meant the score. Who's found the most? Oh, that. I'm not keeping score. Let's just keep looking for that earring. Got to keep in score. Am I a murderer? And I'm looking for the fucking earring that, you know, evidence. So the post don't fucking get me. Do you know what I mean? Oh, what sort of no. thing? Not sure. Not very old. Look sharp. Tell the police. You don't think you should let the police know? <laughs> don't be daft. Every farm has a bunch of knives lying around. Pretty sure this one has only killed sheep or cows. Weird when you think about it. Most cattle never leave the farm, do they? Until they go to the abattoir. Guess I'm no different. Born here, work okay. here. I'll probably well, die, die here too. too. Jeez, you've been a bit morose, Beth. Beth. We've Beth literally got, got a lifetime to enjoy life, life before death. death. A lifetime? Tell that, Tell that, that to mum. Mum. She was, she was only, only ten years older than, than I am now, now when she died. died. Shit in hell, Adam. No, I don't even feel it. like I've started living, living yet. yet. Ten more years isn't enough. Hey. Stop, Stop thinking, thinking like, like that. that. You're, you're not your mum. Your You've got 60, 70, who knows how many years ahead of you. But... What? Well, th there's no guarantees either. Y you might get struck by lightning tomorrow. Or perhaps the Stanning Slayer could return. Which he is. <laughs> Which well, he is. You're certainly cheering me up now. <laughs> All I mean Which is... Which she is! Well... You know, and watch yourself with that knife. Don't want you coming to any harm. She's looking for evidence. She's looking for evidence. Because when this gets dug up, they're going to find a fucking weapon or something like that. And she's roped him in because she knows how much he loves her.
Ebon Asa. Asa. Hit gold again. Right, let's talk. Not sure about gold, but you're on a roll. Yeah, it's almost too good to be true, don't you think? You're oh. just having a lucky, a very lucky streak. Don't stop now. Hmm. 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 He's starting to get suspicious. Hmm. He's starting to get suspicious. She's implicating him. Chris? Right. You're not going to believe this, Captain. You're going to want to see this. Another! Any sign of a hallmark? It's not a great design, but if it's gold, it'll have weighing value. That's a bit hard to tell, but no, can't see a hallmark. Captain, you're going to want to see this. I noticed you're not wearing your engagement ring anymore. So? Okay. Well, I'd congratulate you on moving on, but you haven't changed your relationship status on your feeds yet. Have you? Oh. And no one else is going to find oh, out either. Not yet. Okay? They'll I just... find out sooner or later. I just can't face the questions or the snarky comments. You know what people are like. Okay. I won't say a word. Mate. So... Are all these finds freaking you out? I just keep finding jewellery... Hate him, says Colin Rob Robinson. It's a bit odd. A bit? We've hardly found anything, and then BAM! It's almost like the detecting gods wanted us to find a trove. Right. You... Um... You should keep looking while you're on a streak. What's going on here? What's going on here? What's going on here? Police. Kellen. What's going on here? What's going on here? She killed Jake, you think? Ah! Perfect magnifying glass without the magnifying glass. Just my luck. In that case, the word you're looking for is a handle. Right, so they're both, both treating each other like shite. Oh, more oh, speaking. Track of time. Then my tummy rumbled and reminded me. Ready for lunch? Or do you want to hang fire? See, this time. Let's do lunch. Let's do lunch. Lunch sounds like a good idea. Kimiko, Heading thanks for the sub. See you there. I don't know what this is going to be. I'm going to see if I can get this finished before I fuck off. That was an amazing morning. I just kept finding stuff. Yeah, want to take a closer look at my haul? Yeah, I can't believe your luck. Hmm. Mm, there's nothing of any real value, but it reminds me of being a kid. Mum put together a dress-up box that Lucy and I used to play with. Random bits of jewellery, like these. I think she used to buy it from junk shops and jumble sales. Before the business took off, of course. Sure, sure, sure. Mm -hmm. What? You recognise this stuff? Oh, no, it just reminds me of it. Why is it scattered in this field? <laughs> Someone trying to grow a crop of crap jewellery. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows, Becky, maybe? Where did you find the earring? Was it where I've been searching? I don't know. It was so long ago, I can't be certain. Beth. What? Hey. So why didn't we start there on day one? I don't know. It's... it's complicated. Beth, what's going on? Complicated? If you really wanted to find the earring, why didn't we start where you found the other? You don't have to ask! 
You know the answer. Oh, you just want me to say it, don't you? What? What? That it was strangely convenient? You finding something right when you were at your lowest point? I detected all summer long. Hardly found anything. Even Lucy had found something. I was miserable. I thought finding that earring was a reward for working so hard. I didn't care if it was, you know, a bit strange. Strange as it was, I didn't do anything wrong. I did find it. You did. But there's always been a niggling suspicion about it, hasn't there? It felt too... lucky. Almost like I wanted it so badly that I'd somehow conjured it. Made it happen. Conjuring, is they uh, like <laughs> you're not that cheating or anything? I know. Then the only explanation is. I don't know. There isn't one. Really? If you can't even admit to me, to yourself, then we may as well get back out there and detect. <sighs> hey, I'll say when lunch ends. I'm in charge. That's it, Jack. Not any more. What, not anymore? What? What's this? What is this? Let's look at the map. Uh, no map? Oh, I can look at it when I'm... Right. Look, did that way. The law has been broken. Contrary to common law. So the law has been broken. Oh, it's underground. You did get up. Here we go. I don't know if it's common law. So what's she saying? Is she, has she been burying this for him? Oh. Mud. Goodness. That's hot company. What the fuck was inside? Oh, oh, we need to talk right fucking now, Beth. Bloody hell, I can't quite make it out. What have you got? More crappy jewellery. A couple of rings, a brooch, a pendant, an ID bracelet. And that's a muddle-up bag. It's an old one. And do you think that's just a coincidence? What? <laughs> yes. We find a bunch of costume jewellery and then a muddle-up bag with even more in. And? 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 Of interest, and? who chose this spot back then? When you found the earring, it was me, Mum. Remember, you know I can't. Come on, Beth. Then you need to ask. Dad. Or Lucy. They were both there, weren't they? If Lucy knows anything, she'll be dying to rub my nose in it. Oh, Lucy, oh. You need to call them. You said you wanted to finish this once and for all. I wanted to find the other earring, make everything fun again, like it was back then. Do you want me to make the call? No, absolutely not. I need. I can. To. I can phone him. I can. can I can no. take com complete control of your life. And when you go to phone him, I'll say, "Are, are you sure? Are you sure? You want to phone? You might fuck it up. Are you sure? Because I maybe it's best. Let me date this once. I'll date this once. All right then." So, how did the phone call go? I don't really, that's really between me and them. But I'll let you know of anything. It's a dodgy guy here. Ave? Ave? Bene ave. Mm. 
Thanks, everybody. Let's go up here. There's the motor. Did I start here? Let me check the map. Oh. That was fuck all there. Oh, wait. Back. I found a cranium. What's this? A two ounce weight. Just an old fashioned weight. It's not just any old fashioned weight. We need to meet. Oh, guess you could. What? Guess you could use it to stop your texts from blowing away. And then half a second later. Uh, Beth, you're right. Beth, hello. Should I? Oh, there we go. I spoke to them. Dad and Lucy. Right. And? And? And now I'm sat in the car wishing I hadn't. Wishing everything away. Ready to talk? Ready. Right. Bastard, I wanted to see if she was there. Why did you make me do that? Phone them. You know why. What happened back then? It, it, it's trapped you in the past. It's trapped. Is that, is that a trapping effect? The one thing I had that I could always focus on when things turned to shit was that earring. Daddy planted it. Made sure you found it. So you'd feel like you'd achieved something. You've known, suspected it all this time. You've just convinced yourself it wasn't like that. You can't just blame Lucy and your dad. You playing along, you must have realized it was a setup. But I swear, I didn't know. I mean, I knew there was something odd. Dad directed me to look here and there. Lucy laughing, but... But you didn't ask. You, you didn't want to know. You didn't care as long as you had your prize. It's not like I didn't deserve it. I've put so many hours into detecting. Unlike Lucy. She barely touched a detector. She thought it that was going, was... then instantly find something. You think Lucy had beginner's luck? So you, are you trying to tell me then Fuck that how everyone else is lucky, but when you find something, it's suddenly a reward for your hard work? Did it never cross your mind that perhaps Dad dropped something for Lucy to find too? That's what dads do. Good ones leave little treasures for their kids. You know, earrings, money, advice. Did it? Jobs. Jobs. Really. Ah, I thought I got a job, Pat. You're saying I haven't earned my position at Model Art. You've no. Working my ass off. No. Nepotism, it's close. Maybe you did, but everyone there works hard. Some never get promoted out of the warehouse. No, enough. I can't handle this conversation. Not now. Not on top of Jake. Not on top of the earring. Not on top of Dad and Lucy lying to me. Everyone thinks I'm losing it. That it's happening all over again. Happening no all over. I'm right. put in charge of Model Art now. I asked you here to help. I'm me. fucking spinning. All you've done is pull at the threads, make everything fall apart. Yes, well said. It's already falling apart. That's why you reached out to me to come and sort you out. Again. Christ, your voice. You're really starting to irritate me. I just need you to fucking stop. yes, man. I need to think. I just need a plan. No, not more plans. You just need to figure out what you want. I thought I had figured it out. A great job, marriage, then kids. Then I'd be happy, like everyone else seems to be. But when they all started to evaporate. All I could think about was the earring. Mm -hmm. Finding it would bring it all back. All that locked up happiness. Now that's gone. Here, I've got some locked up happiness. 
Don't be a drama queen, Beth. You've got a family that cares. A guaranteed job. We've been in darker places than this. Remember? And who helped you through it? Who was there when you couldn't talk to anyone else? He's dead. And the earring. M maybe the other one is here. Maybe the other one was planted too. You think? Maybe we should just walk away? I could talk to Dad and Lucy. Ask for help. So they can invent a new scenario to make you feel better about everything? Like it's like he's playing cat and mouse well. No. You don't need them. Not this time. We can sort this. I'm going to fucking... Be bleak tomorrow. An awful day. But anything is better than going into the office. Or Heidi get home. If we can ride it out, it'll change everything. Forever. It's like... Trust me. Textbook and fucking... I suppose. Controlling... Gaslight manipulative... Sort of put downs, put downs, put downs, and then I'm the one that puts you down. I'm also the one that gives you compliments. Hey. Hey, I wasn't sure you'd turn up today. I said I would. Besides, what else am I gonna do? It's, it's like a... The house just reminds me of Jake. Every time I move, I see another bridal magazine staring at me. Going to the office means facing Dad and Lucy. Do you want to talk about it? Any of it? Later. It's still sinking in. It's always later what? with you, Beth. I Go see it. some news about the Stanning Slayer. I bumped oh. into Sergeant Marler again, so I asked him. We were right. It wasn't a serial killer. Just a one-off. A crime of passion, he said. Some teenagers thought it'd be funny to daub the scarecrows with red sheep dye to scare the kids. <laughs> That's how it started. It sounds like it worked if you're still going on about the Slayer all these years later. Mm, That's sleepy villagers for you. No real news or excitement, so we have to make everything up. Okay, I'm relying on you to find something good today. I'm not sure I'll be able to focus. Is this like the last day? I can't remember. Right. Is this like the last day Jake is the slayer? Brownie thinks the two of bits. Her dad literally trauma dumped. Her dad? Wascrow. Her dad? Wascrow thinks the sub. You know, he's doing these sort of put downs and then he's, it, it's like cat and mouse and he's sort of, ah, oh, you're right. And then when she's at her lowest, he gives like a kind of wee compliment. It's like, no, but it's not that bad. You'll get through this with me. With me, you'll get through this. I a scarecrow there. I can help you get through this hard time that I'm fucking causing. Oh. What's that? Like a, oh, kind of, Looks like a prong from a hay fork. Like a weapon. Imagine how big the matching knife will be. You are. Right, right here. I wonder if... Um... Oh, knife. Fork. I get it. I get it now. I get it, everybody. Oh, oh! Look at this. Right, come on, what's going on here? What's going on? Oh, is that the, is that the engagement ring? Are you coming over to check out? It looks like it's worth a fortune. Here we go. How do you... Are you... Wait a minute, is this your... I... Really? It was just lying there. No one's daft enough to lose a six grand ring. Unless they... Th 
Yep. Only an idiot would lose a ring like that. What's up? You should be excited. It's my... It's my engagement ring. I got mad thinking about him. I threw it away. Oh. Really? How did I not know that? Don't How did that? I should know everything. Just throwing it in some field. Uh, we've got metal detectors. How did I not know that? Anyway, find us keepers, I guess. It's yours. But look after it. I'm not even sure I want to see it again. Yeah, you might change your mind. Jake won't ask for it back, will he? <laughs> he can go jump. He might be minted, but he refused to spend any more than a grand on a ring. I paid for most of it. I spotted it before we'd even met. Fell in love with it. Knew that was the ring. Is that how it Whoa, works? You chose your wedding ring before you'd even How long does a ring exist for in a shop? I sound so surprised. You know what I'm like. My engagement ring, a wedding dress. I've always known what I wanted. And what if you'd never met anyone you wanted to marry? But everyone does. Or at least I thought they did. Until I screwed up. Until it's bought. But you wouldn't you don't. It was always doomed. Go for it. You didn't screw up. Jake and you. It was only a matter of time. Only a matter of time? Is that supposed to make me feel better? My job is turning to shit and my dream wedding has vanished. Mm -hmm. Sounds like you're more bothered about losing the wedding than losing Jake. You know what I was trying to say? Stop twisting my words. You're twisting my melon, Set man. yourself this list of goals. Being the boss, getting married, the perfect house, a couple of kids. I would dare call on. You think ticking What's them it? off will make you happy, but it's your list that's making you miserable, Beth. Jake wasn't just a tick in a box. There was a time when I was besotted with him. He was the one. I was sure of it. But even when you felt he might not be, you just prefer denial to dealing with it. Jake and I were already fragile. I thought if I opened things up, it'd just fall apart. But he's went missing. Jake's went missing. But anyway. Well, J Jake's away for three days. Opened up, had a chat. Faced up to what was going on. Maybe. He's at it. And yes, I admit it. I'm more upset about the wedding than losing Jake. But that's a sign, right? It wasn't meant to be. Garnet, thanks for sub. Love my huge one. I always want to know where you get your ideas from. I've got um, a team. I've got a wee team. They don't know. They've never seen it. Pick a country, somebody. It's got a country at least a thousand miles away. Uh, Albania, Chile, Ecuador, Peru, Ecuador, get mentioned again, Ecuador, I've got a team in Ecuador that have never seen my programme, and I tell them, just, I, I, I would tell them, just keep on writing, and there's a chance this could go to television, BBC, they've not been paid a penny, man, they've not been paid a penny. Right, not a bean. Um, but I just keep, I get my ideas, all my ideas for like improv stories. You'll notice when I do an improv story, I went shook Lucy's bottle and it sprayed everywhere. Oh, well done. No matter how much you shake a bottle, give it a few minutes and it'll open without making a mess. Um, thanks. Right. Um, okay. you notice when I do an improv story, um, I go, what's the improv store idea? And then I redo a few. Uh, oh, Iconic Gilbert, thanks for the sub. Have you tried gas station sim? Seems up, you see. It has been recommended. And I, I might I might uh, check it out. It looks, it looks like it'll be alright. But I wasn't in the mood for a, a sim sort of thing. The day. Um, I. What a day is um, for the improv story. 
I say, oh, th I get the improv store idea, and then you'll see me reading out a few sub messages or whatever. That gives me time to hear the story, to send it off to them. They're waiting. And I hear it in here. I hear it in my earpiece. My earpiece. And you know, sometimes I might go on a wee YouTube diversion during a story. That's when I've the connections went down and I have to wait until they turn their back up and running. You know the quick ones that I go out? Look, just a wee quick one, just a wee slice of life, we wee sell a quick one. That's when I, I kind of get in touch with them. You don't see it? Oh, the UFO! Obviously not. What are you talking about? This. It looks just like that UFO. Uh, I guess. You guess? Look, it's identical. We should tell people we've solved five the years, standing UFO mystery. Oh, people won't care. They'd be happy to carry on thinking aliens really did visit Stanning. And what about you, Mulder? Still want to believe? Trust me, there are days when believing in things that don't exist is the only thing that keeps oh. me going. She's coming to tell us it. Wonder. Wonder how long left I've got because obviously I don't want to. Um, I don't want to have to go when there's like one minute left. I'd rather go when there's like fucking ten minutes left, twenty minutes left, so I can pick up the motor. But I don't even have a vase, do I? Oh, more fucking flowers. Suppose this means I have to have my legs in there all night. I don't have a vase. Vase, do I? Bulk top. Oh, more fucking flowers. Yes. I see. Up here. Yeah, here. Should I go through the... Let me just see. Let's see the map. Oh, Beth. Beth's saying something. My turn to show you what I've just found, right? Oh. Pretty sure it's Mrs. Haver's bracelet. Oh, good. Let's talk. Uh, why not? Keep it. Why not? She'll never know. <laughs> Adam, that's outrageous. I can't believe you'd even suggest it. Well, I'm a wee bit wild. Don't pretend you didn't think the same. I'm a wee bit wild. She'll probably insist on making me one of her amazing lemon drizzle cakes. I'd sell for that. Yeah, it's not like you're slimming for the wedding anymore. Oof! Ouch! Right though, no dress fittings for me to worry about. Not for a while. <laughs> Do you think that's it, Lizzie? <laughs> Am I going to be one of those old spinsters? I'm not getting any younger. You're going to be one of the old spinsters. Let's see, even if I met someone tomorrow, there's going to be a few years of dating. And what if it doesn't work Am out? Am I going to be a spinster? Over again, even older. Don't give up hope just yet. You're a romantic. You've always believed in happy ever after. Wait a minute. That's why you never thought about the earring too much. Am I going to be a spinster? Yeah, got me. Why is it? Why are they called? Where did that term come from? Anyway, spinster. Is it because oh, she's not got a husband, so she's got lots of time uh, to herself to spin like thread. And fucking make stuff. What is it? Spinning yarn. Let me go over talking again. Hey, ready for lunch? Yes, I am. Yes. Yep. Let's take our break now. See you back at the car. Bye. Bye for now. Oh look! Here. Look at a fucking nameplate, Beth. B E. 
19 T H Y. Sorry, I ever wanted to say it again. Thanks. I think I know what I need to do with it now. You know we're not going to cover all of the farm this week. I hope you're not disappointed. A little. A little. I wanted to find that earring for you. You think we should have worked harder? Put in more hours? Stop thinking about what, Beth. Finish it this week. It's just too much to do in too little time. <laughs> Sounds like me. Trying to cram everything in. Work, yeah. relationships, kids, fun. Too little time. You don't have wins. Oh, how do other people do it, Adam? Make everything slot together at just the right time. I don't think they do, they Beth. They don't? Well, most people don't. Look at Sally. Have you forgotten that she quit uni when she fell pregnant? She wasn't looking for it to happen. It just did, and her life just shuffled she around. She fell pregnant. She might think you've got it all. Had fun at She uni. was befallen with happened. pregnancy. And no kids to ruin your social life. Nah, she loves those Like kids. one might fall ill. I'm sure she does. Now. At least she escaped from stunning. Same with Jen and Claire. I thought I'd be the trailblazer. And look at me. Are you kidding? Jen might have a great job, but have you ever thought that maybe she didn't want to leave Stanley? Mudalot is the biggest company in the village, but you and Lucy had that tied up. Like it or not, Jen had to leave if she wanted a career with prospects. Sure, her job takes her to far-flung cities, but she never gets to see them. Not really. She flies in, flies That's me when I was on tour. But she might like that. Just never really got to see Dundee, you know what I mean? Time, living a carefree life. She's having fun now, but she can't do that forever. And when she stops, what will she have? Some great memories, but no career. No way of getting on the property ladder. This is the worst thing ever, One says non-binary helix. She might have regrets. Are you saying none of us managed to get it right? Are you saying they're all unhappy too? No, you always assume everyone else is loving their lives. Hey, smart ass this cunt, isn't he? Maybe they're not. Schrodinger's happiness. No, that's I, not I actually. You could call it that. No, that's not how it is. So that's no, that, that's the complete misinterpretation of Schrodinger's cat. Situation. Don't ruin it, Beth. Don't try and find the answer to life inside a formula. That's why you always... And what do you fucking know, Adam? What do you know? Does everyone have an Adam? I think so. I'm not sure everyone gives. You're the fucking dickhead that's still going on about being left yeah, or something like 15 know, fucking years ago. Your pal? When you were eight? No. Is that a bit weird? Should I just talk to you in the shower or when I'm sat on the loo? The loo? Charming. And to think I had you down as romantic. Did you? By the end of tomorrow, we'll have squeezed as much into our time here as we could. No regrets. This is it then. I think. Agreed. This is it. Alia. Alia. Thanks for the sub. Thank you very much. GNP. Thanks a lot. Thanks for the sub. Thank you very much. Oh shit. Right, we're back at it. Oh wait. So I wonder what the mystery, the big mystery will be. What will be the big mystery? Will it just maybe be a wee straightforward thing like, aye, life's all about that, aye. Life's all about that, really. A single cufflink. A single cufflink. Uh, where am I? I'm up there. Let me see, is there something? This area seems to be particularly empty, like I've maybe missed something. They just said he's not real. You better not be having any fucking spoil. I don't want any spoilers here. Don't any fucking spoilers here if he's not real. Oh. And yet. And yet. Don't want any spoilers. Don't read chat. You missed it. 
You what? Literally said in the car. You what? What do you mean? Hey, we're not allowed to be downbeat anymore. That's the only rule from now on. Wow, your mood really has changed. Okay then, tell me, what's so great about our tent peg? It's another find. Talk to me in the shower or on the loo. Does everyone have an Adam? I, I, I didn't quite catch that. Does she know maybe mean like the voice in her head? Do you know what I mean? Uh, and, well, it reminds me of all the time I've spent outdoors. Not recently, of course, but spending all day behind a desk just doesn't feel like me, does it? Goes with the job, though. It goes with that job. Uh, are you leaving mud or what? Bloody hell, you're not really thinking about leaving mud a lot, are you? <laughs> we both know I'm not happy. I want to please Dad, and I kind of like annoying Lucy with my brilliance, but it's not enough for me. Not anymore. It's like the thing with Jake, but this time I'm not going to ignore the signs. What about the money? The job security? I'd just be a bit mad if I am imaginary. I me. But Mudderlot is doing well. Dad and Lucy would never see me destitute, would they? Look, I'm a manager there because it's a family business. We both know I'll always have a job there, if I want it. Thank God for friends and family in high places, eh? I don't spike to it. I did work hard, though. It wasn't just a free ride. I still think I'd have been successful without a leg up. But the worst part... That's I've let put it not done. In me. It should have liberated me. I just let it tie me up in knots. Maybe it's time to see how I fare on my own. Uh -huh. I need to trust myself. Uh-huh. To listen to myself again. All right. Hmm. Good for you. So, this game is written by Tory ap apologists. Just on the map, it looks a wee bit. Yeah, there we go. It's like all these ones at the other side of that wee path there, but fuck all here. I find more things than you. Please don't speak. Cheeky git. I found loads of things. I just don't share all of them with you. But I'm going to polish it up and stick it with my award. It's time. I'm still getting binned. I'm nearly finished. Really? You think she's better than you? No, I didn't say that. But maybe she. On you go, Adam. Get a compliment. She'd love to run a business, but me. Because that's what that's his style. Put downs then compliments. Put downs then compliments. The less time I get doing the things I love. And you only just noticed. Like no. that. Just, just wee things. Max Priest thinks this up. Same thing with Jake. I just thought that if I stuck with it, stuck with him, one day everything would just click. Somewhere that hope turned into desperation. Couldn't face the idea of starting over. Oh, I'm so annoyed with myself. Ignoring the signs and wasting so much time with Jake. And I've spent all these months turning Lucy into a rival. You can't rewrite what's happened. No, but I can change course. Change what happens next. With my help? I don't normally need help from anyone. There he goes, putting himself in. Dependent. You. Because no one knows you like I do. I know all your weaknesses, your fears. The things that make you fall apart. Am I real? Am I real? I mean, it's strange that 
I fucking hope he's no real. It's strange. Oh, here we go. Ready to wrap up? Yes. What time is it? Yep, I am drained. Me too. Right, so I think I think this is maybe the last day. Maybe. Darkness. Darkness. There we go. Right. Friday, a visitation. Is he the pig? Right. Locked. A visitation order. Right, let me see. This is a biggie. Let's go down this way. Speed up a bit. What? 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 What's this then? What's this? Good morning. Oh shit, you're in the van. Can I see and you? You're late for the last day of detecting. It's been a crazy morning. A van? Really? But I didn't think you'd actually ditch your car for a van. <laughs> Did you think I was bluffing? I told you I was going to change. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. Let's talk about A van? Later. Really? Anyway, how are you? Find anything yet? Me? I'm good. No, I'm, I'm great, actually. Nice to see the sun again. But uh, um, w what did you mean, tip of the iceberg? I feel like I'm missing something. I promise I'll tell you everything later. He's going to get a knife oh, Mrs. to the Davis back of the head. Thanks. She was so happy when she realised I'd found a bracelet. She and did you get the drizzle, own drizzle cake? That's nice. Yeah, it was. Strangely so. Felt really good making someone happy, doing something useful. And some other news. Mr Hobbs got in touch last night. Uh, who's that again? Like a visitation? No, not the farmer. Hobbs Jr. The son that vanished. Although vanished seems a bit strong now. Right. His mum and dad divorced. He only moved a few There you go. Away, spent every other weekend right here. So nothing creepy happened? You sound disappointed. No, I was just expecting something more dramatic. What did he He's want? really nice. See it. I was detecting the farm again. Asked me to let him know if we found anything interesting. We had a laugh about the UFO photo as well. Oh, did you? He fessed up. Said it was his dad's idea. Well, are you doing any detecting today? I've got a bunch of calls to make. Carry on without me. But let me know what? if you find anything. Don't fucking hear the detecting for you. Find a fucking earring for you. Why the fuck am I here? What? Well, on you go, make your... I can't, I can't see her. I can't, I can't see her. I can't see her. I can't see, I can't see. Right, go here. Nothing. Go a bit there. Go a bit there. This is the best way to do it. There it is. This is the last day. This is it. I found something. Oh my god, I really did find it. Is it fast enough? I'm not going to try and imagine the story behind how that going up. <clears throat> Right. Collect your detector. Okay. <clears throat> naughty. Okay, a wee bit naughty. 
Not a bit nice. Drum8888. Thanks for the sub. Over here. This is how you do it. I really don't want to, I really hope I don't miss something, because if I miss something, I'm fucked. Look at a shite. An old tape measure. That could be worth something. That could be worth something. She's not, she's not even fucking replying now. She's like, ah, oh, ain't you say? She's fucking texting uh, Junior. That's what's going on there. She's texting Junior. And notice how she didn't mention anything about the lemon drizzle cake that that woman might have gave her for the bangle. Could it be that I like she's having it and, and no telling me about it? Because I'll, I'll want a bit. The twist in this that that the twist is that this game is good, says Cotton. Part of a bike chain, I could be I could be this. These are all shit. Oh here we go. We're gonna That's it, I've had enough. What? Enough of me sending you pictures of junk? <laughs> no. This pretending that we're here to find treasure when what I really needed to do was just clear my head. Right. Like an idiot, I choose the one farm in the world that has views of everything that's been stressing me. Muddle art, home, Jake's house, Lucy's place, Dad's. I was never going to relax with them in Clearview. Right, all right. Uh, and, and me? And me? You said I remind you of bad times too. Maybe. Maybe he didn't help. Way to make me feel unwanted, Beth. Oh, there are always going to be bumps in the road. I've used you to figure out how to cope. Everyone was right. You showing up is bad news. You what? Oh. I thought we were a team. We are. Kinda. You're like an ambulance. You want them to be there, but at the same time, you don't. I t am, am I... Your ventriloquist dummy? She says, I know it's always me speaking. Don't really want to hear? I know, it sounds dumb, but I panicked, felt desperate. We, I, figured it out though. What I need to do next. Oh yeah? Tell me more. But I'm, I'm here, I'm real though. It's nowhere near lunchtime yet. We could start early. I've got Jaffa cakes. Oh, but I'm real. I can hear my voice. I'll be right there. Don't you dare eat all of those Jaffa cakes. But they taste so good. <laughs> Hurry up. But I'm out here. I'm fucking here and you turned up in a van. Well, this is a bit different. So, uh, what happened to the car? It's gone. Sold it and borrowed this from Dad. A van. Is, is he the van? Plan. I'm going on an adventure. And there's no plan. Well, <laughs> there is, but it's kind of vague. I need a change of scene. Get away from here and really clear my head. Sold my engagement ring too. I figured some extra cash would fund my next adventure. I don't need it, and I figured I could have a lot of fun with the money. Wow, you have had a busy morning. That's only the start of it. When we finish up here, I'm going to hit the road with my detector. I've got a tent, sleeping bag, shovels, walking boots, everything I need to go detecting. I thought you'd had enough of detecting. I've had enough of detecting here, on this farm. Coming here was a step backward. Hmm. I was trying to turn the clock back to a happier time, but I'm not that kid anymore. And what about Muddalon? There'll always be a role there for me, if I want it. I'm 
taking some mud a lot of gear with me. I'll road test it while I'm out and about. Maybe write some blog posts for the website. Dib to these websites or blogs. Products. Design. Creating things again. That's amazing. I'm it's kind of like vlogs now. YouTube not. I hope that does too. Hopefully. But that's not why I'm doing it. I've spent too long trying to be what I thought Dad and Mum wanted me to be. Neither of them would want me to be miserable running mud a lot. And Lucy and Dad, are they okay with this? Are you kidding? They love it. Lucy gets to be boss, and Dad doesn't have to disappoint one of his kids. Lucy must be over the moon. So Adam Rejected for ages. has done her heat folks. It was her who lost the bag with all the other jewellery they were going to hide for me to find. Well, she did hide it, in a way. And all these years later, we she still managed to, to find it. She talks to Adam and I'll heat or something. so nice. Chatting like sisters again, instead of rivals. To work things out. I've missed that. And where to first? I think, I don't, know if, I don't know if I'll take Adam ever existed. Time. See if I can make up for years of broken plans. Then I'm going to see Claire. Maybe have a messy weekend at a festival. Then, who knows? <laughs> Maybe come home and do something with Lucy. Or I could rent my place out and carry on travelling. Maybe I could come with you? We both know that's not how this works. You and me. It only works when I'm in a bad place. When my plans fall to bits. This road trip is my practice run. A chance to learn to enjoy detours and be spontaneous. If I don't have a plan, it can't fall to bits. But you always plan ahead. Life goal. Remember, he's not real. You, that's your thing. He's not real. In that case, taking life as it comes is my new goal. And I'm sorry you didn't find what you were looking for. I found exactly what I needed to find. Will I ever see you again? Do you think I'll ever see you again? Dunno. Bloody hope not. Maybe. Well, you know where to find me. If you ever... You know. What? I know. But I've got this. You got this? Bye, Adam. Sally, sorry about our last call. I can't exist without you! No, no, no! Me? Oh, I'm good. No, you seem like the two Well, I wasn't. But I am now. That's the important thing. But when you're having a good time, it kills me. Oh, don't worry. I don't need Adam. Everything's oh. under control. You and the kids. Are you free tomorrow? They know about Adam. I'd love to take you all out detecting. They can get muddy while we have a catch up. I've got so much to tell you. Yeah, me too. Oh, I can't wait. But I hope you're in a chatty mood. I've barely spoken to anyone for the last week. So what would this be in reality? Multiple personality thing or... Or, or, or know that just something she's had since childhood, just something, just a, an imaginary thing, just a kind of therapist sort of thing in your mind. Imaginary friend, no, no real, no particularly a, a disorder or mental problem or any kind of. She. She knows. She's no, it's separate and not real. The Magnificent Truffle Pig, starring Lucy Fish as Beth and Arthur Darville as Adam. Wait a minute, Lucy, F Lucy Fish, Arthur Darville was in Doctor Who, it said, but I've, I, I, I recognise him, but for something else. Who's Lucy Fish? Right, so who, who wrote it? Hey, so Lucy Fish? What fucking pigs? Well, um, no, like, 
Hannah's sister, when they were younger, their, their dad, whatever more, named them that. Because the uh, truffle pigs hunt. Well, they, they search, they sniff out truffles. Okay. Are you sure you want to skip? You won't see the final scene. This game made me regret the existence of games, says Mr. Chunks. So, in this game, I am not real. When the things that I have been finding in the ground, um, I have not been finding. I have not been finding. I am not real. It was Beth doing it. I'm Beth. Then who the fuck turned up in the van? Right, so it's me. So I'm Beth. I'm walking about in the field. Kind of talking to myself. I'm Beth. Pretend, kind of, having a kind of back and forth between me and Adam. Who does not exist. So when that van fucking turns up, and I th it's like I'm in the field. Well, what the fuck is that then? So am I Beth driving up and up? All right, something last week. No. Oh, New Game Plus. They select. Look. What's this? No. There you are. There you are. So, when I was in the field, young Tobias thinks the 200 bits, read the 2% Metacritic review for this, it's a good laugh. Oh, read it. Um, Metacritic. What did you think of that then? Does this game have PvP? Um, I need the, um, the beckoning bell thing. Did you like? He's really liked. He's liked it that much. Dog shit. <laughs> New game plus seven. Uh, Metacritic. Uh, I liked it. I liked it in the way that I like these sorts of things. The, the um, the 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 scanning. The metal detecting sort of dragged slightly, but. Um, story's a bit a wee bit kind of daft but uh, what's it again magnificent truffle pigs so what's that Mitch thinks the turn of bits shake games make for the best part of the I, th I think so it's fucking brilliant metacritic read the 2% metacritic review it's a good laugh reject all Meta score 66. User score 5. What does that mean? 5. Well, one's out uh, of uh, fucking 100, other ones. Right, let's see. What? Right. Um, June 6th, 2021. Somebody gave it 2 out of 10. Having finished the game, I found myself relating to the protagonist in a profound way that I have never experienced. The protagonist is a guy named Adam who wants nothing more than to rekindle a romance with endlessly self-centred Beth who literally talks about herself the entire game, well, he, at her behest, digs up junk in a field. He is ostensibly trying to find uh, an expensive earring that Beth insists is there, but she later admits it's not. Give us a wee second. It 
as appears or is stated to be true, though not necessarily right. Ostensibly. Then at the end, she friend zones him really harshly, saying that he, the the one friend that agreed to meet her when her other friends blow her off at the beginning. <laughs> is part of the problem. When he asks if he could accompany her, she says, that's not how this works. Apparently, how it works is that she gets what she needs and he can go fuck himself for all she cares. Is this a joke? And then she glibly makes plans with her other friends moments after kicking him to the curb. Are we supposed to be happy for her? I felt the same way. I thought, yes, I will literally dig up trash on a farm and yes, I will serve as an inert sounding board for this terribly dull person where my dialogue options clearly have no impact to this ceaseless prattle. But I'm... But I'm the end. It will be worth it. But in the end, it'll be worth it. Something good will happen for sure, but it never did. And I feel left feeling just as downtrodden as Adam and just as much of a sucker to ever made to whom... Whomever... To whomever made this game, screw you. I don't think that's a fucking joke. I don't think it's a fucking... I don't think that was a joke. I hadn't realised that you are an imaginary person that she's, she just talks to in her head to figure things out to kind of criticise herself and stuff like that. So when she's well like that, I don't need you anymore. I don't, I hope I don't, you know, I, I don't really need you. I only come to visit you when I need you. It's because to get, he didn't get it. The, the poor, poor, poor guy didn't get it. He was sitting there typing that review and selling away for nothing, for no reason. Yellow Mellow, thanks for the sub. Thank you very much. So he was, in a sense, in selling, in selling away to his own Adam. He's arguing away in Acon about something that doesn't exist, if you know what I mean. Multiple layers, really, really good. Maybe, maybe I'll go fucking, maybe, maybe, it's almost like that horseshoe thing that has to get passed on, like the ring tape. Maybe he's arguing about something that doesn't exist the way that Adam doesn't exist. In fact, he's not really, he's actually trolling and I'm arguing with him and he doesn't exist. Do you know what I mean? Because it's just, a, it's just a, it's a wind up, it's a joke. Very, very clever. Very fucking clever. Very fucking clever. Very clever stuff that. Well, I, I, I liked it in a funny sort of way. In a funny sort of way. Uh, Aki says, this is the smartest chat I have ever been in. Yes. F smart. But funny. Naughty, but nice. Naughty but nice. I don't think you find a chat like this anywhere on, on, on Twitch. I won't. That's going to get me in a lot of trouble saying that. A lot of people are going to be talking about me, uh, about me and yous behind old backs. Saying, who's, who's he to say that? Who's he to decide what the best community is? What if it's mine? Well, is it yours? If it is, say it. That makes you as bad as me. If you know, then it's mine. Matalan thinks the 200 bits. 
Maybe the game is a big metaphor for relationships, something there about digging up the past to benefit the future. Maybe this is obvious to other people, but I'm thick as pig shite. I've already sort of forgot the game, in a way. I've already kind of forgot. Gunter Riddle thinks the 300 bits. Last day of June is a great game if you have to... I tried that for a wee bit, or did I? Did I try that? It's already gone. I'm already re I'm already I'm ready for a new for, for a new game, more games like this. Well, I'll be looking in my game recommendations channel in my Discord for, for more games. Remember, if you recommend games in there, it doesn't have to all be like that. I want a bit of variety. Sometimes I'll play that and then sometimes let's do a big fucking survival game or something. Just anything you can think of uh, pop in there. Um, thank you very much for the subs, the resubs, the bits and the tips, everybody. I'll be back on 9.30am tomorrow. I might even be on the night for even more fucking Subnautica. Let's go fucking daft. I'm going to send you Zeddy Jivers now, who is playing PGA Tour. If you think I'm fucking good at the golf or shit at the golf, check Jivers out. There's no way he'll be anywhere near as good as me. Bye for now.